Are you ready to experience a bathroom that changes colors with your mood? Step into the most emotional room in my house as we transform it into a mood ring bathroom. It may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but with a little help from my friend Allie, we're gonna make it a reality. Robbie lives in Vegas, so this is the longest I've ever traveled to go to the bathroom. Allie actually got this idea from Evan and Caitlin where they covered their toilet seat in mood ring paint. That was a really dumb thing. Why would anyone ever do that? And that made me think, wait, what if I took my floor in my bathroom and I also made it moon ring color? So I told the intern to clean my bathroom, that way it's nice for when Allie comes over. Uh, let's see how he's doing. Wait, what the heck? Why is this place such a mess? Intern, where are you in- Uh, intern? Oh, yeah? What's up, dude? You cleaned my master bathroom? Yeah, I even organized all your drawers! This looks awesome! Thanks! But you did the wrong bathroom. What do you mean I did the wrong bathroom? So now that the bathroom is clean, I need to uninstall the toilet and get it prepped for the torture that we're about to put it through. That's disgusting. Oh, 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 oh. Water's getting everywhere, water's getting everywhere. So uh, to my surprise, there was still water in the toilet after I flushed it. Hey Robbie! Oh, hey Toby. I saw this video on TikTok where they used a leaf blower to blow the water out of a toilet when they changed it. What, that couldn't possibly work. And in this moment, I really regretted trusting Toby. What the heck, Toby? Oh, well, I guess it got the water out, but it got everywhere. Okay, time to go power wash this thing. Well, I've never used one of these things before, so uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, wait. I forgot to turn it on. That's much better. Okay, intern, now that we're in Breaking Bad cosplay, it's time to sand this bad boy. The internet said to wear face masks because the porcelain dust is dangerous, so. And you're probably thinking, Robbie, why the heck are you sanding your toilet down right now? And uh, the reason for that is the little scratches actually give the paint something to stick to. Yay, you're gonna show us how to paint this with mood ring paint now, aren't you? No, that's not what I'm gonna do. Because you actually need a black base in order for the mood ring paint to work. So I had to figure out a way to paint my toilet black. Luckily, with a quick little search on Amazon, they actually make porcelain paint. And uh, fun fact, they actually make it pretty much any color you want. So you can have a pink toilet, um, so that's fun. And in order to make this paint work, you actually have to add this little ramen packet to it. I guess this is kind of more like an epoxy-based paint. Mix, mix, mix! Go ahead and pour that into our rolling tray. When you're working with epoxy and stuff, always make sure to wear safety gear. Painting, 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 painting! This whole process took me and the intern about two days. I only had about one day to help me with this project, so I had to make sure that I got all the prep work done before she got here. For the bidet, I ended up using the same epoxy paint I used on the toilet, but for the squatty potty, I ended up going with this high gloss Rust-Oleum black spray paint. I actually regret not using the epoxy paint on the squatty potty as well because it felt a lot more tough than the spray paint. So if you're gonna do this at home, I recommend just using the same epoxy paint on everything. So just like the toilet, we had to go in and sand the sink and the floor, and that was kind of a pain in the butt. And I made sure to clean everything off as well as I could, that way the paint would stick. Uh, uh, the floor honestly took the longest time because it has the largest surface area and we had to mask everything off before we painted it. So now that we have everything masked off, it's time to paint everything black. I love that Rolling Stones song. Okay guys, it's the next day and this sink looks so fresh. Look at that. Just ignore that. The floor looks absolutely fantastic. My house did start smelling like an RV, so I put this trash can over the, the sh hole. So Allie's gonna be here any minute. She hasn't seen the final product yet. It's kind of weird about having guests over, so on top of the last two days of painting everything, I've also been spastically cleaning. I'm so nervous. I just hope everything turns out great. This is my bathroom we're talking about. I'm in there like, you know, four, five, six, ten times a day sometime because I bought this house and this is my property now and I have to deal with the consequences so I hope this turns out really cool <laughs> Allie just got here <laughs> 
Oh gosh, you are so white right now. <laughs> Show me the toilet! She is beautimous. Well done. The mat is so nice. Maybe we just leave it like that. I also did the squatty potty. Super necessary. I need to know my feet's mood while I'm taking a crap. <laughs> I actually got all this thermochromatic paint from a company called solarcolordust.com. Wow, there's a ton here. One. Wait, why is there only one? Oh, I've been pranked, you prank me! Oh. They were really nice and they sent me 15 bottles for this project. This stuff is magical. There are little crystals floating in water and those crystals twist at different temperatures and then reflect light differently to make it look like a bunch of different colors. It tells you how you feel. Wow. Yeah. I'm really excited to use this. To apply the paint, we actually use these little spray guns. You want a super light spray. Oh, light? Oh, yeah. I already messed up, didn't I? When you spray this stuff, you have to do it in really light coats. Like, almost to the point where you can't even see that you sprayed it. If it's too thick, the paint actually won't work. I would also recommend not using a heat gun because it kind of made everything really crusty. And every time you add a layer, you have to let it dry pretty much completely before you add another layer. And we ended up using about five coats of this paint on everything. What is going on over there? I don't know, it keeps <laughs> clogging. <laughs> Mine keeps clogging too. Ew. I know. Is that a mood worm? <laughs> Allie was pretty much on fire with painting everything, so I decided to go to the store really quick and buy a new spray gun because I thought that might be the problem. You're leaving me? I'm gonna go get another airbrush. Mine keeps clogging. Yes. <laughs> Blame the tools, not the tool. Wow. <laughs> okay, hey Allie. I've returned with all the airbrush stuff. I'm prepared to uh, work until nightfall. Oh my gosh, what, Allie? You started on the toilet already? Started, it's done. But when I got back, she was actually done with the entire toilet and all the accessories that she brought. I didn't even need to buy this. <laughs> you got it all by yourself. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. And thank you. And once we were done with that stuff, it was time to start painting the sink and the floor. And I can get up. Okay guys, let's see what Allie thinks of the bathroom. Come on in. Start from the top and then work our way down. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Great. You, you sound like you know what you're doing. Painting. I'm painting. 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 I'm painting. I'm painting. 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 Okay, guys, the sink is all done. Now it's time to do the floor. I would not recommend using this small of an airbrush. Allie and me ended up using these spray guns for the entire floor, and each one of these tiles that we painted ended up taking about 20 minutes. So I would highly recommend getting one of these car detailing spray guns. I'll also link that down in the description down below. The car paint spray gun just covered so much more surface area, and I would have probably done the entire bathroom in 20 minutes if I'd done that instead. We're gonna let this dry, and we're gonna start bringing up the toilet. Let's go. Okay, time to load this thing up. Should we throw this on your fitness channel? <laughs> I'll go, I'll go back. <laughs> now to put it in the mood ring floor bathroom. Oh, wow. Whoa, these turned out cool. Last but not least, the squatty potty. Wow, that's bougie. <laughs> Okay guys, so Allie is now actually gone, and there's only one thing to do, and that is seal everything down. A boobity boop. Now I just gotta do that for the entire bathroom.
folks, that's all for now. We've successfully turned my bathroom into a mood ring wonderland. Remember, if you're ever feeling blue, just step into the bathroom and let your colors guide you. If you guys want to do a fun project like this, make sure to go to solarcolordust.com and pick yourself up some paint for 10% off using the coupon code Robbie. Thanks for watching, and down in the comments down below, tell me what you would do in my bathroom. Whew. What's up, guys? You want to see something cool? We have a lot of work to be done in here, but look how fantastic this is. The lighting's pretty good already. And I get this giant door. I have a lot of plans for this. Um, I think I'm gonna put the Christmas tree over there. And there's a hole in the ceiling right here. I'm gonna put a slide. I also got some stairs. Ooh, where do they go? Oh, my phone light. Yeah. I have a whole attic up here. There's honestly just so much room to do activities. It's definitely gonna take a little bit of TLC. Maybe a little bit of fixing of the AC. Oh my god, guys, look. I have couplets out here. That's DC. I'm out of abbreviation jokes. <laughs> I did all the demolition. I took everything off the wall. I decided instead of doing drywall, Flash now we're back. going to Lowe's to get some drywall and electrical supplies. Okay, time to move this. Oh. Hey guys, so I had a drywall guy come and he actually said that I bought the wrong drywall. So now I'm we're reloading my truck and we're gonna return it to Lowe's. End of flashback. We decided to get corrugated sheet metal and then we're just gonna put it up on the walls. It's gonna be badass. This is how the wall turned out so far. That is absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna insulate the rest of this and put metal sheets all up. Okay guys, so all the corrugated metal is all done. And it looks like the inside of a giant tuna can in here. So now it's time to get painting. It looks really good. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think I did a really good job painting this. So now in turn, do you know what the next step is? We're moving all this junk, right? We're moving all this junk. Okay, we're gonna take a little break on putting together the craft corner desk uh, because the ceiling tiles came in. Yeah, that'll uh, do it. Do you want my <laughs> Okay, and uh, back to putting this thing together. So one improvement that I wanna make to the desk is these guys. These are called caster wheels. I got this case of them for like $10 at the yard sale. I know it says 12 right there, but he gave me a deal on it. So first things first, we're gonna have to flip this guy over. Watch out, he's fucking heavy. You ready? Yeah. And now we just start screwing on the casters. Now we just gotta do that eight more times. Okay, all the casters are on. Oh boy. I like it. We now have the island back, and I can move it wherever I want. Okay. Michael here is uh, putting some screws in each corner for me. But I'm gonna take one of these guys and then I get my own screw gun and then I'm just gonna hold it up and then screw it in just like that. Two down, I think I got 450 of them. Let's do this. <laughs> So we got done with the ceiling. Today we are working on installing the lift. 
But the first step is to take down this old attic stairs. The last guy who owned this house, he just kind of screwed it up. Uh, normally there's like a handle that you can just pull down on, but I'm gonna have to unscrew that and be kind of safe about it. Whoa! So I have to figure out how we're taking this out. I don't really know. With the new. Okay, so we installed the 2x4 frame that this thing is gonna be sitting on. Now we have to pull this over and put it in. Ironically, I feel like that's the easier part. It's in! We're almost done! Okay guys, we got it completely installed. Let's see if it works. I think we're good! Oh yes! Fancy seeing you guys here. And now for the best part, when you pull it up, it matches the ceiling tile. So it's completely seamless! Where's the lift? I can't even see it. We can start moving everything in. Woo! Okay guys, I'm putting this bad boy to the test. I really hope this works. Oh! We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. And stop. It's working, it's working. Working. Oh. And there we go. That's looking really good, actually. Just do that with the entire wall. Okay, guys. So now we are installing the pegboards. They're actually going to be white pegboards. But first thing we have to do is install these little two by twos, just like that, onto the wall. And then we're going to put the, the pegboard right on there. Well, those are all done. Actually, I missed this wall. Dang it. Uh. Okay, now it's time to hang the pegboards up. Now, it's time for the hard part. I had help before, but uh, they went home. So now, I'm gonna attempt to do this part by myself. I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, and I'm all done with this wall. Okay guys, now for the next step, and that is to just organize all the random things that I have. Oh my goodness, so many random things. What do you do with these? What do you do with tiny elf legs? Okay guys, so now we are putting up the tools. We are putting them in alphabetical order. And we have the assistance of Tori DeBransky. She is directing us. Tori, where do we put uh, this circular saw? Uh, up over there, in the beginning. Oh, uh, over here? Oh, we, okay, uh, sweet, thank you. What'd you say? What was that? You don't think the sink that I just installed into the craft corner island will reach that far? Are you sure about that, buddy? All right, all right. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Robin, I'm Robin, it's Robbie. Today is construction day with the boy. Hey, what was your name? I don't think I quite heard you. It's Robbie, I said it six times, dang it. So uh, basically, I, I just decided I want to put a bunch of rooms in my giant room. So in here, we got a brick wall. Big brick wall. It looks really good on here. So we got one set here, and then we got another set here. We got a set over there. We got a set over here, and then this is gonna be our living room set over here. I'm really happy with all of it so far. You guys are holding all these bricks by yourself. Oh my god. Look at it. We've built another wall. Before you screw that, make sure you're okay with this. Just this side. Oh, great. Is that a door? People call me humble, and this is my door, and this is my humble door. Not to be confused with Dumbledore. I'm feeling real humble right now because he's like getting hit. Like I said, it's a humble door. I'll see you later after being track. about a year and like four months later. We've changed everything up like six times and this is probably as complete as it's gonna get in a year and a half. So here it is, let me give you a little tour. Let's we'll start off with uh, the craft corner. So, um, you know, here's the classic Robbie's craft corner sign. Our saws, our sanding machine, this thing. Very dangerous. It says right here, uh, it's fine. Machine repair comes out of your paycheck. So we go over to here, um, you know, we have all of our tools and we got 
screws and bolts and uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm missing a few, a few, a few bolts, you know? <laughs> That's what people tell me! <laughs> Girl props. My good friend, my cart, I use this for everything. I had this at the other craft corner. You guys already saw this. The old desk. You guys have seen this desk. I've actually made an entire video where I made this desk from an old uh, crate that I got in the mail. Storage cubes over here. Anything we could need. If, uh, you need rubber bands? Here, take them. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, then we go over to uh, my desk area. If you've seen this since I started doing my craft videos, it wasn't even a desk, it was just a piece of wood that I screwed into my wall. And I took that same piece of wood and I screwed it onto this very nice toolbox, all my tools, some more things, even more things, things inside of the things, things inside of the things, inside of the things. This thing also has things inside of that thing. Director's chair, you know, he directs everything. He does a great job. He's directing us right now. Shut up. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna go through this door now. It's my closet. Just kidding, it's not a closet! It's my kitchen set! Wow! We actually decided to build an entire kitchen because I was just really tired of getting my kitchen at home. We basically made everything from scratch. These tables, we had to finish them. We had to pour resin on it. Really proud of that. And as you guys saw before, it was all raw wood on the walls. We went in and uh, added walls. I hate to tell you guys that this brick is fake. <laughs> this brick is fake. However, we did install real cabinets. We have real snacks in here. Um, these are the snacks that we eat. We eat some of these. We don't eat hand sanitizer. Um, this sink is actually a real sink. See? That's real water. It's not CGI. This is real. <laughs> I think you should go. Anyway guys, back to the craft corner. There's something really cool I wanna show you guys in here. What we're gonna need to do is uh, go under here, we grab our stool, okay? Then we step up here. Excuse me, sir. And we got a secret hole! What? Well, I'll see you guys down the hole. And now we've made it to my basement set. As earlier said in the video, I installed myself a slide. This is where I store all my spooky paraphernalia, like my masks and uh, this hand. It's nice to meet you. Come up to my attic. Hey guys, welcome to my attic. It's currently um, like 135 degrees up here. It's 100 degrees outside and the attic just gets even hotter. As you guys can tell, uh, we're just kind of using the attic for storage. Uh, here's the old Christmas tree. This used to be 15 feet tall. Can you believe that? That's insane. But as you can tell, it's kind of a mess up here. Let's go back down to the basement. You guys are probably like, Robbie, what happened to your lift? And uh, the answer is, it's right next to my kitchen set, which is where we are again. We're in my closet kitchen set thing. If I ever want to use a lift, I just put this guy over. So if we ever want to use the lift, all we got to do is go and press this button right here. And it's as simple as that. Uh, that's how we use the lift. It's kind of slower than going up and down the stairs, but it's useful for heavy objects. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today, we're going to be trying some fun air fryer recipes. Chicken sandwich. So fried chicken, what are we gonna need for this one? Let's see. Some chicken, egg, flour, maybe some oil, seasonings, milk, panko powder. We're gonna start off with two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Get ourselves a nice bowl, add some buttermilk to it. I don't have a buttermilk, I just have normal milk. But it'll have to do. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab a plate, get our panko, put some panko on it. I'm gonna season it up a little bit with this Lowry's uh, seasoned salt. This is some good stuff. A little bit of extra pepper. Mix that up real good. Grab a chicken, put it in our buttermilk and just swim it around a little bit, I guess. Drop it in our panko. Oh yes, get it to stick real good. Just completely just cake it in your panko breadcrumbs. Add a little bit more seasoning salt. Now apparently I'm supposed to grease up this using a non-aerosol kind of grease. I'm gonna use some olive oil. Just put it on a paper towel. Ah, just 
Oil it all up. This is just so it doesn't stick. Go ahead and toss these in here. I ended up cutting all of them in half just to make them kind of more sandwich size. Now I just put it in for 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And then the recipe I found said to flip it every six minutes. I'm a little bit late. Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh, that's looking pretty good so far. I like it, I like it. It is chicken though, so it kind of scares me. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. I'll see you in six minutes. Okay, let's see where we're at. Oh, those are getting very crispy. Um, I would almost say getting close to burnt, maybe? I'm just gonna keep flipping and hopefully I'm doing this right. And I have about two minutes left on them, so I'm gonna start working on the buns. I decided to go with some King's Hawaiian rolls because I thought that just sounded delicious. Oh, yes. Now what I'm gonna do is cut it into four. It's not really gonna work with two of them, but it's okay. Yeah. Then cut the fourths into half, straight down the middle. Mmm, beautiful. And then I'm gonna take my bun and then throw it in my other air fryer. Okay, let's see how our chickens are doing. Oh, those are some plump boys. They look, I don't wanna say juicy, but they definitely look really yummy. So now we're gonna take our nice warm buns, open that bad boy up, grab our air fried chicken, and just slap it right on there. And then I really like these uh, sweet heat chip pickles, so add some of those. Oh yes, maybe a little bit of peppercorn barbecue sauce. Yummy, I'm just gonna close this bad boy up. Oh yes, that looks pretty good actually. It's just four Hawaiian rolls with a chicken breast. Let's see how this one turned out. Honestly, that's really not bad. The chicken is cooked all the way through, which was something I was kind of concerned about, but it absolutely worked, so awesome. How does it compare to regular fried chicken? I would definitely say that this is a little more juicy than normal fried chicken. The outside is a little bit more, I don't know, crusty. This is pretty dang good. If I were to compare it to a Chick-fil-A sandwich, uh, Chick-fil-A being 10 out of 10, I'd probably give this a solid six and a half. Not bad for my first try. Would you guys eat this? Mamma me, it's a pizza. Okay, now we're gonna make some air fried pizza. Gonna need a little cutting board, some pizza dough, pepperoni, basil, some pizza, Pizza sauce. I also got some of these seasonings and some fresh tomatoes and also some mozzarella cheese. First thing we're gonna do is grab our dough. Ooh, that smells weird. And my air fryer even came with this little pizza tray. Go ahead and flatten it out. Okay, I'm gonna try the flip. Hopefully I don't drop it. Oh, oh, ah, no! It's okay, it's okay. I should have really watched a tutorial on how to do this before I started. Is pizza even like worth it? I spent $30 on the supplies. I could have had a pizza delivered to my house for $30. Okay, the pizza is all flattened out. I made it a little bit bigger than the pan because I actually want to add cheese to the crust. I don't think I've ever even made pizza from scratch before, so this is going to be interesting. I'm just going to take some cheese and just put it right there, right in the crust. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I'm going to save a little slice of it with no stuffed crust because the intern is lactose intolerant. Instead, I think I'm going to use these pepperonis. I'm just, uh, you know, wad them up real good. Oh yes, put them right in there. I'm just going to carefully roll up the crust. I'm actually really happy with how the crust is turning out. Go ahead and put this off to the side. And now I'm gonna grate up some mozzarella cheese. Okay, we got a good amount of mozzarella cheese grated up. Go ahead and break out the sauce. Just dump it all on there, I guess. Ooh, do I have a Lazy Susan? Now we're gonna grab our mozzarella cheese and just start putting it on there. Okay, that's looking really good. Wow. But we're gonna go ahead and add some of these herbs. Oh yes, classic Italian herb. Just take this and just sprinkle it all over. And garlic and onion, mmm, yum. We put some of that into the crust. That sounds like it would be really good. Go ahead and add some sliced pepperonis. And I also want to add some sliced tomato. And then we're gonna add a little bit of basil. It smells so good. And while I'm at it, I might as well cut up some onion. Now that is what I call a pizza. Before I pop it in the air fryer, I'm gonna take some of these seasonings and a little bowl. I'm gonna put it right in there. Also add a little bit of olive oil. Mix this guy together real good. And now I'm gonna lightly baste the crust, just to give it a little crisp. Now we're gonna take our gorgeous pizza and put it in the air fryer. The internet recommended me to cook this pizza at 370 for seven minutes, so let's do it. 
I don't know what happened to this pizza, but it's ginormous now. Also, I think I messed up because there's literally a rack that I'm supposed to put the pizza on. So I definitely put it way too high. I don't think I cooked this right. <laughs> What the heck? It really is beautiful, but I'm gonna move it down uh, to the other rack just for a second. This whole pizza turned out way thicker than I anticipated. Like, the crust is two fingers tall. But oh my god, does that look absolutely gorgeous. Ah! Oh, yum! Let's cut it up. I am so excited to try a slice of this. Oh! We got that goofy movie cheese. Yum! Oh yes, a beautiful slice of pizza. But does it taste any good? We're about to find out. The dough tastes slightly undercooked. But other than that, this is really good. I'm gonna have to give this a solid seven and a half out of 10. This was the first pizza I ever made from scratch too. Hamburger! Nothing's as American as a cheeseburger. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with these frozen patties. This one has cheddar and bacon inside of it. I'm gonna go ahead and season it with Lowry season salt. This stuff is really good, highly recommend it. Now I just grab these guys and plop them in the air fryer for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees. And while that's air frying, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up all of our ingredients. The internet also said to flip it about halfway through. When I flip them, I'm also gonna add my mushrooms into the deep fryer as well. I'm also gonna add a little bit of cheese with about 40 seconds left. And it looks like our burgers are done. And now we assemble. Start off with a bun, then our patty, Add maybe some onions, a little tomato, know what I'm saying? Add a couple little pickles, maybe some mushrooms. Go ahead and grab our top bun. Add a little bit of ketchup, maybe some mustard. And we're just gonna plop that guy right on there. Oh, now that is what I call a burger. But how does it taste? It looks very juicy. I feel like if I cooked this on the grill, it would be a lot more dried out. I'll see. Mmm. Oh my god. That is so good. Perfectly cooked all the way through. I could have probably put it in for a minute or two less and it could have came out medium rare. But this is like a perfect medium. And it's so juicy. I give this like a straight 10 out of 10. This is a really good air fryer recipe. Oh my god. Ikea food. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be trying to make a Swedish classic. I'm actually part Swedish. I've never been to Sweden, but I have been to Ikea many times and I absolutely love their meatballs and their gravy and their lingonberry jam. Oh, don't get me started on the lingonberry jam. So we're gonna start off with the gravy. I actually got this from Ikea. The instructions say to use stovetop, but you know, for this, we're gonna use an air fryer. Okay, so I just grabbed some of this. It actually says to use heavy whipping cream, but I don't have any heavy whipping cream. Is that gonna be enough for like six people? It's okay, I have multiple gravy packets. Mmm, that's gonna be some thick, thick gravy. And I actually forgot to buy the heavy whipping cream, so I'm just gonna use some 2% milk and maybe like half a stick of butter. Boom, boom, boom. Just gonna go in and mix that all up. This is the air fryer only challenge, so I can only use an air fryer. I should have air fried this butter first before I added this into here. Mmm, now that's some good gravy. Wow, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Good gravy. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna plop it in our air fryer. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I've never air fried gravy before, so this is a first for me. Does this even fit? It fits perfectly. Awesome, I don't have to worry about it. I'm just gonna let this go for a couple minutes, uh, get nice and hot, and then I'll mix it. A few moments later. Oh my God, guys, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, ignore that happened. <laughs> okay, guys, this is how the gravy's turning out. It kind of coagulated a little bit too much. Now it's a little too thick, so we added more milk and we're hoping we can save it. Oh God. Okay, guys, now it's time to make some mashed potatoes. To speed up the process a little bit, I'm gonna cut them into fourths just so they cook a little faster. Now we're gonna go ahead and put all of them on our tray, spread them out nice and even. Okay, now it's time to add our meatballs. For this, I'm just using the basic air fryer tray. So we're just gonna go ahead and spread these guys around nice and even on our tray. Go ahead and add these to the same air fryers of potatoes. Oh yes. These potatoes look pretty good so far, so I might as well take them out while I'm at it. Go ahead and flip them over. They're kind of hard. Let me actually do the old mashed potato test. I mean, yeah, they definitely need to be cooked a little longer. They're going back in. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Ah, I dropped my potatoes. Then I'm gonna go in and try and mash these guys. 
Yeah, this is not working well. Just gonna add a little bit of milk. Maybe that'll help it out a little bit. Oh! Guys, I think I messed up. I could just boil the potatoes in the milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter. I don't know how I'm gonna save this, honestly. I feel like it needs to cook a lot more. Just as much butter as I can fathom in this. Back into the air fryer it goes. Okay guys, now our meatballs are done. I should keep these somewhere, that way they stay nice and warm. Let's go ahead and put them in here. Let me put some tin foil over them. Okay guys, now let's see if we can actually mash these potatoes now. <sighs> These potatoes ain't mashing at all. They're more like french fries. Can I use this? I mean, that helps a little bit. They all said that you couldn't make mashed potatoes in the air fryer, but I'm gonna prove them wrong. This would be a good time to add some of our seasonings, like some black pepper, maybe a little bit of ground paprika, just a tiniest bit. Himalayan pink salt, my favorite, and then just the tiniest bit of garlic powder. Maybe throw in some chives, you know? Ooh. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, actually, these seasonings are really fixing this up. We're gonna save Christmas, guys, and the mashed potatoes. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in and throw this back in the air fryer, and hopefully these mashed potatoes will be done. Later. Okay, guys, so this is our gravy. And as you can see, it turned out absolutely beautiful. It does have a little bit of a skin on the top because that's where it was baking, but the gravy consistency is perfect. It had some chunks, so you had to sit there and, you know, mix it up, open up the air fryer, mix it up. But other than that, this turned out like gravy should. Look at that, that looks really good. And this is how our baked potatoes turned out. They ended up taking like an hour to cook and I don't think this is the most efficient way to bake potatoes. At this point, I would just boil them and make them that way. Here are our meatballs. Still pretty warm. Everything looks pretty good. So we're just gonna start out with a plate. Go ahead and add some meatballs. Grab some of our mashed potatoes. And then we grab some of our gravy. Mmm, that looks so good. Okay guys, and last but not least, some lingonberry jam. Ooh, hot damn, hot damn, lingonberry jam. Look, oh my god. This honestly looks like it turned out pretty good. But let's see how all of it tastes. So we're gonna go and grab a meatball, grab some of our mashed potatoes here, a little bit of lingonberry jam. That's how you're supposed to do it, right? That turned out pretty good. Mashed potatoes did turn out a little iffy, but honestly, we don't taste bad. If I didn't mess up on the potatoes, I would give this whole thing an eight and a half, maybe even a nine. This is pretty dang good. Guess we're gonna have to save this one more. Still work. Now let's get air frying. Taquitos. Okay guys, I'm gonna be making some taquitos from this book. So the recipe calls for some ground beef, taco seasoning, tortillas, a little bit of lime, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of salsa, and you can't forget the cheese. So we're gonna start out with the ground beef. In the book it actually said to pan fry it, but I wanna use 100% the air fryer. I'm probably only gonna do maybe a pound of this, and I think I'm gonna mix in the taco seasoning beforehand. Oh yes. Okay, so theoretically all this taco seasoning should go into this. Just gonna mix this up, and now that our meat is all mixed up, go ahead and add it to our air fryer. And luckily, beef even comes with heating instructions right here. It says four to nine minutes on hamburger. I mean, if it's all cut up, it probably will take even less. I'm guessing 360 at 10 minutes. Break this up just a little bit. A few minutes later. So now that we have our taco meat, we're gonna grab our tortillas. Boop -boop -boop. Grab one of these little guys, scoop in a little bit of meat, and just roll them up. Ah, it's gonna take a little bit of practice. You wanna get them nice and tight. Okay, it looks good. Now I just gotta do that with all this meat. And there we go, guys. Look at all of our taquitos. Some of them are a little uh, rough. I definitely got a little bit better as I went along. It just takes some practice, guys. Okay, guys, 375 for 17 minutes. I'm also gonna do a quick layer of spray just to make them nice and crispy. Hopefully my air fryer doesn't explode. Okay guys, our taquitos look like they're just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cheese to about half of them. 
Oh yeah, a good amount of cheese. And pop them back in the oven for about, I don't know, three minutes. And then while I wait for the cheese to melt, I'm gonna go and cut some tomatoes. Oh yes, freshly cut tomatoes. Honestly, do I even need to cut tomatoes? I have salsa. I'm just gonna use the salsa. Oh yes, these look absolutely beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. All it needs is a little bit of lime. Mmm, maybe a little bit of salsa. Don't forget to take the toothpick out. Mmm. That's pretty damn good. I think with a little bit of practice, I can make this really, really good. But the way I cooked it, I'm gonna have to give it maybe a seven and a half. I've never liked store-bought taquitos, so this is really good. Corn. Okay guys, we're gonna be making air-fried corn on the cob. Put them on a plate, and then apparently you just go in and spray it with some olive oil. Then I'm gonna divide it in half, and on this half I'm gonna do some lemon pepper, and on the other I'm gonna do some Lowry's. Then we're gonna take our corn and put it in at 365 degrees for about 15 minutes. Okay guys, and this is how our corn turned out. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's nice and golden. That is the goldest corn if I've ever seen some. So we got Lowry's on this side, lemon pepper on this side. And if you want, you can always just cut them down, just like at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh yes, these turned out fantastic. But how do they taste? Okay, I'm gonna try the lemon pepper. Mmm, honestly, that's pretty nice. Cooked all the way through. Mmm, I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. That's probably as good as Buffalo Wild Wings or like Wingstop. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the Lowry's. Yeah, that has more of a classic salt and pepper taste. But not as good as lemon pepper. I'm gonna have to give this an eight and a half. But overall, this turned out really good. Hot Pockets! Okay, let's make some Hot Pockets. These aren't gonna be the ones that you find in the frozen section. These are gonna be the homemade ones. Ooh, I've never had a homemade Hot Pocket, so I'm pretty excited for this. So we're gonna need either some pizza dough or some croissant dough. I got it in kind of like long things so I can cut it when I wanna make the pockets. Or I also bought this uh, pizza dough and we can just kind of squish it out and then make our own pockets too. Either way, I'm probably gonna do both. The main difference is this one's made with croissant crust. We're also gonna need some pizza sauce, some cheese, and also pepperoni. Let's start with the pizza dough. Just pound it out real good. Just really press into it and just keep spreading the dough around. I'm gonna try and make a square. That looks pretty square. I kinda also wanna try another method where I just take a pan and I just squish it down. Honestly, that's working pretty well. I'm kind of surprised, Heike, how well that works. <laughs> We're just gonna fit it to the tray. Yeah, that's looking pretty rectangle. Flip that bad boy over. I could have just done it to the shape of the cutting board. I should have just done that, honestly. I'm just gonna do it to the shape of the cutting board, Heike. And I completely messed up and forgot to press the record button, but I cut them into these little hot pocket shapes. And then I also trimmed off the sides just to make them a little more straight. And I'm gonna use those to kind of patch up where I made it a little too thin. Oops. And now we're gonna grab some pepperoni and also some cheese. I'm just gonna start spreading it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some cheese inside the perimeter of each one of these bad boys. Start adding some of our pepperoni. Layer on more cheese. Okay, now I'm gonna take the top one and fold it over the bottom one and just sort of pinch the edges together. Guys, I completely messed up. I was supposed to add pizza sauce. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. There's literally like four things in pizza and I missed one of them. I'll just redo all those really quick. Oh yes, perfect. I'm also gonna do the same thing with these croissant sheets. I just opened one up and it comes out like this. And then boom, you basically have the same exact thing. But I've learned from my mistakes and I'm just gonna roll it up uh, right where it is. Oh God, this thing feels way more delicate than the pizza dough. So just, oh my gosh. Yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm just doing this one really quick. I might be overpacking it a little bit, but it's okay. Now I've learned my lesson and I'm just gonna fold it over. Hopefully I really didn't overpack this. So much easier, bam! Hot pocket, croissant style, I love it. Well, she's good enough. It's more like a burrito. It's like a hybrid of a burrito and a sushi roll. I guess it's just a giant pizza roll. I'm just gonna have three giant hot pocket burrito things. Carefully move those over. 
Also gonna go in and just spray it with some oil. Do the same thing with these guys. There we go. Now it's said to leave it in for four minutes. Okay guys, our Hot Pockets seem to be in a little bit of distress, but apparently I'm supposed to flip them over. Honestly, these aren't turning out too bad. They do look a little funky, and some of them are melting, but you know, that's what Hot Pockets do. Just gonna attempt to flip these. Oh God. Okay, ah, oh, so hot. I'm just using my big knife, because I don't have a spatula. Ah, oh, that's hot. Maybe some tongs would be good. Woo, come back. The Hot Pocket is escaping. Oh boy, these are a little rough. These haven't even solidified yet. I can't even flip these, but you know what? It's fine. I'm just gonna wait for them to bake a little bit longer. Ooh, I'm just gonna enjoy this little piece that fell off. Later. Okay guys, and this is how they look. Ooh, nice and crispy. They are kind of spilling out everywhere, but that's fine. Honestly guys, the croissant ones are not surviving on the tray, so I should have probably put it on like an actual tray instead of a rack, because now it's just going through the rack. Oh, I messed up so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna try and salvage it, put it all in here. Cause it's not even fully cooked yet either. What the heck have I done? I'm just gonna pretend that the first one didn't happen. Well, I guess it, it definitely did happen. It's very apparent. Okay. Okay guys, and this is how our homemade Hot Pockets turned out. As you can see, my execution was a little rough, but you know, some of them turned out pretty good. I'm gonna grab this messed up little one. Now let's see how they taste. Honestly, that's pretty good. I didn't even put my pizza seasonings on it or anything. Mmm, boobity boo. Oh yes, yeah, like two particles of that got on. Mmm. I'm probably gonna have to give this like an eight and a half or nine. Definitely way better than a normal Hot Pocket, I'd say. Okay, now let's break out the croissant version. This one's a little rough. Um, it fell apart in the oven really bad, but honestly, it looks pretty good. Mmm, that's pretty good. Honestly, I'm gonna give this a nine too. Even though I messed it up really bad, it still tastes awesome. Overall, this recipe was a little hard, but I'm gonna have to say that it absolutely works. Cheese sticks. Okay guys, today we're gonna be making some cheesy bread sticks. For this, we're just gonna need some flat sheet croissant dough, a little bit of cheese, and maybe a little bit of seasoning. So the first step is open our dough. Ugh. Oh, there's a peel here. Really messed up here. And that really didn't do much. Oh, there it is. Now we just roll this guy out. It seems to have taken some damage, so I'm just gonna patch it up a little bit. Now we just grab some of our sticks. I'm using pepper jack and mozzarella. A little bit of both. And I'm just going to slice some of this off, grab a piece of this bread, and just roll it up. Honestly, I could probably get away with doing two of these. There we go, two down. That's all you really gotta do. Maybe just make sure that the cheese isn't showing at all. So now I have three pepper jack and three mozzarella sticks. I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil, spray that on there. And then if you wanna add any seasonings, uh, now's the time to do it probably. I'm gonna put garlic, and cheese on this side. Oh, that's a lot. Tiniest amount of Italian herb. And I'll also do it on the mozzarella side too, but it'll be a lot lighter. Also add some red pepper to the pepper jack so I kind of know the difference. Now we just add them all to our air fryer. And I put them in at 375 for about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm at about three minutes left and I might have actually overcooked them a little bit. They're a little bit dark, but that's fine. They still look really delicious. Oh, that gooey gooey cheese. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay guys, so here are our breadsticks. We got the pepper jack on this side and the mozzarella on this side. I'm gonna start off with the mozzarella. You ready for this? Oh my God, look at that. Mmm, honestly, that's delicious. I'm gonna have to give that like a nine and a half. This is so good. Look at that cheese. Mmm, look at that. Super, super fancy. Rip the pepper jack open. Oh, oh my God, that looks so good. Mmm, if you guys have ever had the fried pepper jack from a hot dog stick, it tastes just like that. That's probably also a nine and a half out of 10. Because I'm gonna have to say this one works. <laughs> Sloppy Joes. Okay, let's try and make some sloppy Joes in the air fryer. I'm really winging this one, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're just gonna get some manwood sauce, some ground beef, maybe some buns. That's all you need, really. We're just gonna go in and add our ground beef, break it up a little bit, close that bad boy back up. I'm gonna try cooking it at 360 for about five minutes. And this is how it looks after five minutes. Ooh, that looks pretty well cooked, actually. There's a couple pink spots, but you know, probably like a couple more minutes. I was using the grape before, that way all the oil 
oil would just kind of seep out, and then I transferred it to this pan. Put the pan inside. Now we add the sauce. Go ahead and mix it up using a different utensil because you don't want to cross contaminate. Then I'm gonna toss it in for like another like three or four minutes. Okay guys, the sauce and the meat is one, and now it's time to put together our sloppy joe. It's pretty simple, you just grab a big ol' helping of it, just put it right on there. This is a sloppy joe, remember that, so it's, it's okay if it's a little messy. And I always like to add pickles to my sloppy joe. Look at all those, mmm, that's delicious. Put the bun on top, and that is what I call a sloppy joe. Okay, ready? Oh, mmm, mmm. Oh my god, I'm getting everywhere. Well, it's definitely sloppy, that's for sure. But is it a Joe? I'd say it's pretty Joe. And I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I'm not the biggest fan of sloppy Joes, but I would probably give this like a solid seven. Pork loin. Wait, are we eating there? Okay guys, time to make some pork tenderloin. Ooh, giant meat tube thing. We're gonna need some tenderloin, a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna use seasoned salt as always. And that's all you really need. Oh, and also love. All you need is love as well. All you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Oh, yes. Go ahead and pat the meat dry. I don't know how important this really is, but I like to do this that way it's not super wet when it goes into the air fryer. Then we grab our seasoned salt and just start seasoning it up. Just completely cover it, you know? This stuff is so good, you can season just about anything with it. You can season, oh, there's two of these? I didn't know that it came with two. Let's go ahead and rub it all in there. Look at that, it turned out so good and I even forgot the olive oil. We're supposed to put this on first technically, but you know, I messed up. Uh, but you know, it is what it is, we're making this work. I'm gonna go ahead and add the pork tenderloin at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. We'll see how this turns out. We're about halfway through and uh, our pork chops are starting to look pretty good. Very crispy already. I should definitely go in and flip them. Come on, flip over. It looks like I'm just gonna have to use these knives as chopsticks. Oh, that is so tender though. That is so nice. But so far, so good. These look awesome. I will update you guys in about 10 minutes when these are done. Okay guys, and our pork tenderloin look like they're done. You have to make sure that the internal temperature reaches 145 degrees at least. And we got 150, so that's perfect. 150, that's great. Go ahead and take our pork tenderloin and carefully put it on our plate. Oh yes, that turned out fantastic considering we didn't really have to do anything. And now we're supposed to let it sit for about five minutes. Okay guys, it's all rested and I'm really excited to try this. I'm just gonna cut right into it. Okay, that's pretty tender. Oh, wow. It looks like it cooked perfectly, too. But how does it taste? Let's find out, shall we? Mmm. Oh, my God. That high key is actually so good. What the heck? This does not have business being this good. I made this in the air fryer in like 20 minutes. That's crazy. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Um, I think this is probably the best way to cook this. I haven't cooked it many other ways. I've only made it in the oven, in the crock pot, the barbecue, and I would say that this is probably the best way. Mmm. It turned out perfect. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to say that this would work. Sweet potatoes. Let's make some sweet potatoes. Isn't this like the biggest sweet potato you've ever seen? Just for comparison, this is my head. Hello? Yes? <laughs> this isn't a cell phone, it's a sweet potato. First thing we're gonna do, grab a plate and throw some olive oil over it. Oh no, I'm almost all out of olive oil. Oh boy, Let's get it all over it, oh yes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you gotta do. Let's throw this thing in the air fryer. Wait, there's still pork tenderloin in here. I'm just gonna shove this potato right in there with the pork tenderloin. I'm sure it'll be fine. They're both at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Oh, it doesn't even shut. Okay guys, I cut the sweet potato in half. Hopefully that'll do it. <laughs> Success! Okay, I'll see you guys in about 20 minutes. Okay guys, and we're about 10 minutes in on the sweet potato. They're starting to look pretty cooked. Starting to char a little bit. Ooh, getting nice and soft. I stabbed it a few times. <laughs> well, hopefully this works. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Oh, that is one crispy sweet potato. I think it still needs to cook a little bit longer. Yeah, they both gotta cook a little bit longer. That's fine. I'm gonna give them all like seven more minutes. Okay guys, and... 
It looks like our sweet potato is pretty done. Okay, so this sweet potato has really been through it. It looks very crispy. I'm kind of excited to try this actually. Oh my God. Look at that, that just broke right off. Mmm. And I forgot to buy chives. I forgot to buy all the other fun stuff. So the only thing I have really is melted butter. Ooh. Mmm. This looks like a steak or something. This potato was so big, I had to cut it in half in order to make it fit in the air fryer. So it took a lot longer than expected. Okay, now it's ready to be eaten. I'm excited for this. I think that uh, my sweet potato might just not have been ripe. <laughs> But it did eventually cook it. It just doesn't taste like a ripe sweet potato. Not bad. I'm gonna rate it like a solid seven and a half out of 10. Fireworks. Robbie, what's going on? Nothing, Toby. We're just doing a little experiment. Let's do this. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and guess where we are? The East That's right! And today, I have something really cool to show you. What's this? <laughs> Look, it's me! Isn't that so cool? Although, there is one problem. The door doesn't stand up by itself. So that means I'm gonna have to make some sort of stand for it. Come in though, it's about to rain. No, uh, yeah, it is about, come on, uh, get, get it in. Okay, cool, I'll see you later. Oh, okay. <sighs> Bye, Robbie. Shall we? Oh yes, my viral TikTok mood ring bathroom. <laughs> the memories I've had in here. Time to wash this plate in the toilet. <laughs> oh yes, here we go. Let's go ahead and lift it up. Place that in there. Give it a good old flush. Oh. It went straight underneath the plate. Okay, that's weird. Um, I do have a bidet. What if I here we go. go ahead and turn on the bidet? I'm doing what I always do at three o'clock. Hang out in the shower. You're supposed to be working in turn number three. Bro, do you want to play some Mario? Yes, let's go! <laughs> I can't wait to play Wii with you. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. 
What's wrong? Um, intern number three, it appears that uh, my Wii remote is dead. What? Don't worry, I'll grab the batteries. Oh, okay. It looks like I need uh, one double A. Okay. Um, okay. It looks like we have every single kind except for double A. That's awesome! No, it's not. We need a double A. Other, okay, it's okay. I have a life hack for this. All you need is a triple A battery, and luckily I always carry my spare aluminum foil on me. Uh, just get a little bit of this. Then we're gonna take the aluminum foil, get a little piece, squat it up, and shove it right in there. Boop, boop, boop. And, oh, look at that! It connected! No way! We gotta play so Wii! Crazy. Come on, let's go! Wii! 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 Wait, this is Paper Mario! This is only a one player game, how are we supposed to both play this? I'll go home then. Okay. Wait, you have the first player controller. I need that controller! Give me the controller! Ah! Intro number three! Give me the, please, the first ah! player controller! Back! Let's go do some more crafts. Okay, guys, first thing we're gonna need is a grocery bag. Next thing we're gonna need is some full cups of fast food drinks. It looks like all they did was kind of flatten out the bag and then. They pulled it up a little bit, turned the bag around. Ah! Oh. And now they're separated. Very good. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, guys! It's working! I'm gonna just stress test this a little bit. You ready? Whoa! 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 Oh my god, I am impressed! These were actually full of water, guys. Look at that! It didn't spill at all! I'm gonna have to say that this hack absolutely works. <laughs> Basically, you just take a disposable glove and put that in your hand and then top it off with a clean sock. And then you just dip your sock hand into the paint and then rub it on your surface. Okay, guys, the first thing we're gonna need is something to paint. This giant spool should do nicely. Just grab one of my socks. I'm also gonna need some paint. This should do. I forgot I'm also gonna need a paintbrush. Oh, boobity boo. So we got our brush, we got our glove. Where'd my sock go? Oh. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Just gonna, you know, put this guy on. Uh, oh boy! Just gonna double wrap this real quick, know what I mean? Now which do you think is gonna be the better thing to paint with? Okay, let's paint a giant stool. Okay guys, I'm gonna mark which ones are the brush and which one is the sock. It's very not even visible, you know what? I changed my mind. Brush, sock, brush, sock, brush. Got it? Good. Here we go. This one's the brush. Oh yes, that's working very nicely. It's working like a brush. It's like a pretty classic brush finish. Now it's time for our glove sock. Boop, boop, boop. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh yes. Okay, already I'm not really liking this. Very efficient way to do it, I suppose. Like, it's going on pretty fast. Although I feel like the sock is really absorbing a lot of the paint. Anyway, we're just gonna keep going. Going off to yellow, I suppose. I don't want to take this off, so I'm just gonna <laughs> paint with it on. Back to our sock brush. Just wad up the sock. Use a different part of the sock, you know? Oh, yes. Oh, that's working swimming. And now it's time to brush on the final blue. Put way too much paint in there. I don't know. How do I put it back in? Do, can I put it back in? Do I leave it out or I put it back in? Do I leave it out or put it back in? Do I take it out or do I leave it in? Do I take it out or do I leave it in? Oh, honestly, though, I don't think I'd be able to get away with doing this with a sock. It'd be a lot harder. Anyway, guys, this is how it turned out. So this is with the brush. As you can see, uh, fairly accurate brush strokes. I didn't really get it anywhere. But then when we go over to the orange, I got the orange everywhere. As well as some of my socks it started sticking to the table. So that's not cool. Then we go over to the brush, and it looks like... Like, it's pretty clean. I didn't really get paint anywhere across the line with the brush stroke. And same problem when we use a sock with the green. Uh, it wasn't very accurate. Had some problems with that. And we got fuzz everywhere. So overall, guys, I'm gonna have to say for big areas, it's a lot faster. But for accuracy, I probably wouldn't use this method. So anyway, I guess I'll say that this one works. Go ahead and drill yourself a little hole. Great. A little hole like that. Now go find yourself a vacuum. Put it into the hole here. Look at that. It suctions your bag. Oh yes! So everyone's seen the classic hack where you just pull the trash bag real tight like this and you shove it right in there. And boom! You put it in really easily. But now, whenever you put something in, it just rips the trash bag out. There's no room to put anything in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab our drill. Boopity boop. Grab a shop bag. Let's see, do you guys think it'll work? Honestly, I'm gonna have to say that didn't really do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a bigger hole. Try this again. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna 
have to say that this one actually works. A few moments later. I'm hot. Oh. Oh. Robbie! What could he need now? Yes, intern? Man, it's freaking hot out here. Can I come in? Uh, uh, no, I'm actually in the middle of something. Um, oh, I might have a hack for that, but in the meantime, take this hack. A freaking hack? Yeah. Uh, Man, it's 110 out here. Yeah, I gotta go. Just, just let me in. <sighs> So since I already have the shot back from the last life hack, all I need is some ice now. Come join me in my basement. That's where I keep the ice. Whoa. Whoa. Is that? Oh, hey, intern number three. Hey. I'm just here to get some ice. Oh, uh, yes, the ice machine. Oh, that's perfect. Well, okay, I'll see you in a little bit, intern number three. When can I go home? Um, I'll, I'll be back. Can I have some water? Okay, well, time for me to go back up the slide. Okay. I have returned from the basement. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this apart really quick. Shove in our eyes. That should be enough, maybe. I don't know. Put this guy back on. So some of you guys might not know this, but vacuums don't just suck. They also have another hole where if you flip it around, they also blow. There's a little dirt left in it. But that is definitely some cold air. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Oh. Now let's go give it to the intern. This hat stinks. Hey, Robbie. Hey, what, what am I supposed to do with a shot back? Turn it on, it blows cold air. Wait, really? Thanks, Robbie. Oh, this is my original PC. I started YouTube on. Um, I've had this forever. This is probably 15 years old, and I really don't want to just take the fan out and destroy it. So what I think I'm gonna do, go ahead and open this guy up. Then we're gonna try and get this PC fan. This guy is very, very dusty. And boo 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 I only had two screws holding this fan in. Well, mission success, I'd say. Okay, now I'm gonna move my PC off to the side. Go ahead and grab my trash can, and I'll outline the PC fan. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now we're gonna go in and make this little hole a bigger hole. There we go. Okay, does it fit? It does! Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some duct tape to stick this bad boy on. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Okay, here we go, it's time to turn it on. Oh, the fan has turned on! Yeah, this is definitely um, not really doing anything. You know what? I think I actually put the fan the wrong way. Okay guys, I went and flipped the fan the other way. Uh, as you can tell, it's very clean now. Uh, let's try this again. Maybe the PC fan just isn't strong enough, but I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, doesn't work. Really sad, I was looking really forward to this one. <laughs> Okay guys, here's our cup of water. Here are our batteries. Now apparently all we have to do is touch them together. A boobity boo. Nothing's happening! Maybe I have to flip the terminal over? I don't see literally anything happening. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. But I'm gonna show you guys how they probably made that TikTok. What they did was they grabbed themselves a spoon and they just started mixing it up like this. And then they made a little vortex in the water. They pulled out the spoon. Oh my god! And then they waited for it to stop vortexing completely. Pulled it away. So after putting it into my video editor, this is how it turned out. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow! It actually worked! Fantastic. Great way to recreate the thumbnail. Meanwhile. <laughs> For this one is a tissue box. What am I supposed to do with all these tissues? Oh man, oh, this feels very wasteful. How many tissues are in this thing? 60? Okay, I'm gonna be here a while. Oh, there we go. We're good. Let me clear off all these tissues. 
So we grab some trash bags and we just go ahead and do this, intertwine them, shove it on in there. And then just shove the next set into the handle, just like that. Then I guess we just keep going. Okay, and we are all done. Uh, let's see if this guy works. Wow! Another trash bag! Wow! It does get kind of stuck after a while. I think I might have done it slightly wrong. But overall, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay, now it's time to clean up. Engine number three! Yes? Can you uh, get, grab yourself a broom and start cleaning everything up? Um, Robbie, where do I get a broom? I forgot, you're new. Uh, I'll go, I'll go grab you a broom. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, you grab that leg, and I'll grab oh, this leg. Oh, oh, okay. oh, what are we doing? Whoa! Oh, oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh, this is Robbie's oh, oh, shirt! Collecting all, it's collecting all the trash! I only have one shirt, Robbie! Does it look cleaner? It's so much cleaner! I think we should do this more often. Yo, I'm still spinning! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one didn't really work. Do you guys want some cake? Yeah! yeah. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up over some of this fight right down there. If you guys like this video and you guys want to watch me try more fun life hacks and crafts, I actually have an entire playlist where you can watch me do that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and oh, one more thing. I forgot to mention, the dishwasher and toilet hack actually works. What the oh, fuck? Then, okay, bye. What's up guys, Robbie and Lonnie here, back to you in my basement. Lonnie's currently staying down here. How are you enjoying it? You know, it's not the worst place I've ever slept. It's not even that scary as it looks. Well anyway guys, today I bought a bunch of Spirit Halloween animatronics and we're gonna try and make them better. Lonnie, what did you get? What's yours called? This is a Spidro. You might remember it from every time you've entered a Spirit Halloween and it might have scared you. Yeah, you might say, stepping on the press button all unknowing like. And I got a night crawler. As you can see, he's crawling, he's on all fours. But how are we gonna make them more scary? We're gonna turn him into Fortnite. I think we should start off with this guy, Lonnie. How could we make this guy more scary? I'm kind of afraid of trains, but can you cut that out of the video? I feel like it might be used against me in the future by my enemies or maybe, <laughs> maybe even you. Lonnie, that's a great idea. We can make him into Choo Choo Charles. God dang it. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, unbox this bad boy, see what we're working with. You ready? Let's get out of that. Okay, so it looks like a very simple thing. It's just tied up. So we got this thing out, and it looks like it kind of jumps at you. It's like a one of those punching things at a oh, no. like a like a fist. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, so you put it over this, and then it hides the animatronic. Uh -huh. oh. I guess we. We have to tie it up. Oh god. What do the instructions say, Lonnie? The right bone's connected to the knee bone. That makes a lot of sense. Right bone connected to the back of module. And now we're gonna see this thing in action for the first time. You ready? Is it gonna hit me in the face? Okay. So crouches down, hidden tiger style. Oh! That's pretty spooky, I like that. Okay, enough. And enough. then he goes back down. <laughs> you seem very on edge, Lonnie. What? Good? Why? What? What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a dolphin. Oh yes, we just spread out these legs a little bit more. It does kind of sound like a dolphin. So just kind of, um, there we go. I think it won't do anything as long as we don't move. As long as you're not over here. Oh! So Lonnie, how the heck are we gonna make this guy into Choo Choo Charles? Well, I can't help but notice you don't have a caboose, my friend. So what you're saying is we have to go get a caboose. We gotta build some sort of train with a face maybe. Let's go to the store and see what we can find. Okay, Lonnie, we're gonna find out right now. Are there any trains here? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty perfect. That's a contender. I think that train's gonna have to do it. Okay, Lonnie, so we now have our train. Let's see what we're working with here, huh, buddy? <laughs> Happy what do you think we should do with these little animals that came with it, Lonnie? Prepare them emotionally, probably. That's a good answer. 
So the biggest difference I'm seeing really between this train and Choo Choo Charles is that it's painted completely black and then they have kind of like red accents around him. So the first thing we're gonna have to do on is paint this guy black. Okay, just get ourselves some acrylic paint. Let me just stop painting. Oh, dude, that'll definitely, I think that'll work. It's kind of grungy looking too. I think that makes it even better. Yeah, I guess we'll paint them all black first and then we'll add the red stripes in after. Guys, so after further examination, I've actually messed up and we're not supposed to be painting this at all. We're supposed to paint the back right as well. We messed up. Oh gosh. I kind of like how dingy it makes it look though, right? Totally intentional. Maybe we should start by taking off all the stickers. <laughs> I don't know if painting on a moving thing is really the best idea, but you know, we're doing it for productivity's sake. I think we might've messed up. Again? Should we stop? <laughs> no. Okay, Lonnie. So I'd say that this turned out pretty good so far. How do you feel about it? Looks just like the battle pass. I mean the battle, but I mean Choo Choo Charles. Well, you know what's missing? I'd say that it's missing a spooky face. So we're just gonna put that over to the side and then I'm gonna grab this mask from Spirit Halloween. And then I think we're gonna cut out the face. And then we're just gonna stick it onto the front of the train. And then we'll add some extra details, extra gore to the face. We'll figure out how to make this thing look like a spider. I'm just gonna grab this guy, Lonnie. Right by the face. A little off the top of my face. You don't need these darn ears. He knows where he's going. He doesn't need to hear. And now we have a perfect face. It's looking pretty nightmare fuel already. <laughs> For real, dude. Oh, ah. Mr. Choo Choo, no thank you. I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and let this bad boy dry a little bit and then uh, we're gonna start attaching the legs and the face. Okay, so now that this is dry, the next step is to put this face on it somehow. So I think, Lonnie, that we should cut it a little bit more on the head, shape it out. What you need to do is cut this real careful like, make it so that it'll sit flat on the train. Oh, cut off my hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. Human flesh just felt so similar. <laughs> oh, yes. That's looking real creepy like. Although he has kind of more like a round face. Yeah, kind of like Thomas the Chain. So maybe we should uh, put something inside of his face so it's kind of squishy. So the only thing I could really think of really was maybe using some uh, paper towels and then wadding it up and just shove it into the mask just to help it uh, hold up the face a little bit more. Now the name of the game is you get some latex, put it on in there. Looks like milk. It doesn't 5%. taste like milk, you want to taste it? Finally, 5%. And then we're gonna go into the edges and just kinda attach the latex to the side of his face like that. It's already pretty freaking creepy and I like it. Actually, I'm gonna hot glue his face on. That makes a lot more sense. Just get our trusty hot glue gun. So I'm gonna go in, ah, I just burned myself. Dang, that was so fast. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and start gluing this bad boy down. This mask is gonna stay down so good. So we found some ping pong balls from an old crack. So Lonnie and me have made the executive decision to cut out his eye holes. It was mostly Lonnie's idea. I think this is kind of a sick idea. I don't know why you would do this. Why would you do this to a man, Lonnie? Maybe he should have looked more like a train if he wanted to keep his eyes. Wow. So this is what he's looking like. I think the ping pong balls were a good move. I like to also add hot glue to kind of like texturize a little bit. It looks pretty textured. It seemed to have a Loaded some of your skin off. I like that. Okay, Lonnie. So now we're gonna give him his legs. The first thing we gotta do is cut off uh, the actual spider's legs. Lonnie, I'm really curious. Um, what tools do you think we need to cut the legs off? Do you have any big scissors? Oh, these look sharper, faster, faster stronger, etc. Which one says I'm gonna cut a spider's legs? Those are those. Like Okay, let's go get some of the scissors. The scissors? Okay, Lonnie, it's time to dismantle the spider. Use Lonnie. your big scissors to cut off the spider's legs. I've seen bigger. Any last words? How do you use these things? Oh! You can do it, Lonnie. You're a strong man, aren't you? We're almost there. Oh! And we just cut off this boy. There you go, one spider leg down. One down, nine to go. There you go. Oh. There's actually eight legs. It's an arachnid, Lonnie. God dang it! So now? We gotta start putting his legs on this bad boy. I'm just gonna drill some holes here. Right there, Lonnie. Do it right there. You're freaking me out. You're doing it right there. You're not doing it right. You're doing it right there. Oh, he's coming. Now we're just gonna get the little feet and shove them right in there. Oh, yes, it just goes right in. Isn't that great, Lonnie? It looks beautiful, right? We're probably gonna wanna glue these down, honestly, with the hot glue gun. Oh, yes, we got some good legs, Lonnie. How are we looking? You like it? I don't know if like is the word. I do fear it and respect it from over here. I like how even the legs are red and black so we didn't have to do anything. That goes really well with it, honestly. I don't think it could have turned out any better. You start doing your side and I'm gonna glue my side in. 
Okay, so this is looking uh, pretty terrifying so far, but you know what? We still have to see if it jumps. What do you think's gonna happen? It's gonna go slow. Do we break it? Where's your leg? Oh. This is a first person perspective of it, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so it seems to be a little too heavy in the front, so. I think what we're gonna have to do is make a big hole so that this thing and the sensor will go almost out through his face. <laughs> we're gonna need one of these angle drills because we have to go in like this. So we're gonna go in like this. So now we're just ripping this guy's head off. It looks like it's just stapled on. Oh, what? I'm gonna just rip the staples off? Rip it off. I'm trying not to damage the wire in there. If I do, the animatronic won't work anymore. I got these off. I'm gonna see if this works really quick. Oh, oh my gosh! Pretty spooky, but we now have access to the module, so that means that we can move it wherever the freak we want. Then we're gonna take this little sensor on here. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have to make sure that the sensor is still visible. So I think we should shove it up through the back right here, Lonnie. Oh, there we go. What do you think? It looks pretty good. This is kind of spooky already, but we have to find out how to maybe push this back. Oh, we can take this little back door off. Go ahead and cut this part. Oh, we got it. Hey. Ha -ha. The caboose is loose. Now shove that back in there. Looks good, but we could do better. So what I think we should do is pull all this down and try to avoid messing up the wires. Okay, Lonnie, so now we're gonna have to somehow zip tie this thing into here. Just uh, put it on in, just like that. So stick this on in here. This is so difficult. Son of a Finally, we zip tied it on. That was a pain in the butt. I don't know if this is gonna launch. <laughs> We're having a hard time. It just kind of falls over. He's just nervous. Performance anxiety. Hey Lonnie, can you do me the honors of drilling the screw into the wall? Whoa, 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 Ha ha! It kind of hangs a little bit, but... Okay, we'll see. This is a test run. Oh! <laughs> We're gonna have to hold it at an angle like this, and then if you do it like that, it works great. Okay guys, so we're gonna go up to the attic, which ironically enough is right above the basement. Don't tell me how that works. We're gonna see if there's anywhere up here we can mount this to scare intruders. It does kind of match the vibe we're going for, right? We're gonna put it right here. What do you think? It's pretty scary. So it'll be like this, and then you'll walk up, you'll be like, what the f is that? Now I have to build something uh, to make it stay right here. So we took some two by fours and we kind of just uh, screwed them up and we got him nice and secure. And now we just have to add some more spider webs. So as a final touch, I'm gonna put a layer of latex over everything just to make it look really drippy and slimy. Had it kind of like, almost like dripping. Yeah, this reminds me of something I saw once. When did you see something like this? I'd rather not say more. I've never been this scared of trains before. Choo -choo! I'm just standing over the edge. Don't mind me. And then when this dries, it's just gonna be super like liquidy. And then we can start peeling it a little bit we can like look down and then we'll be like what is this and then <laughs> how creepy does this look already Very. <laughs> i think we should let this dry a little bit and then add some fake blood and pull a little prank on my girlfriend tora debratsky goodbye charles goodbye so this is after i added some latex oh look how much more creepy he looks this has like a texture to him that looks really slimy what's my motivation here happy little blood trees. So you're gonna get some blood and you're gonna put it right in its mouth. So coagulated. You look very scared. I'm just a noble painter. You gotta get it inside the mouth. Oh yeah. Some good lingamed jam right. right there. Just get it all in there. Just lemon berry jam. I've been eating some sandwiches that weren't <laughs> mine. <laughs> Cause I'm a scary guy. Oh yeah, let's just keep adding more blood. I know you want me to fall, but it's fine. <laughs> just get the little uh Put the little clumps in there with the jelly. That is very coagulated. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I have a sensor. Oh, I like it. Okay, Lonnie. So we're just going down the stairs, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. What? Oh! Ah, 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 ah. Oh. It was fake. 
the entire time. It's so weird how it sounds like a spider and a train. This turned out so good for like one day. For some reason, there's like a weird sound coming from the attic and none of the lights are working. From the attic? Yeah. And none of the lights. Here, put this on. I, but I have to wear this? It's really scary. This God. feels like the plot of a horror movie. Why, why am I the main character? Here. Oh my god, what is that? Wait, 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 Mikey! Mikey, Mikey, what is that? Oh my god, uh, what's on the floor? What is that, Mikey? Oh my god. <laughs> it's lingonberry jam. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my god, Mikey! Oh, what are we gonna do? It's Choo Choo Charlie! Choo Choo Charlie! Choo -choo Charlie. Oh, it's not Thomas the Tank Engine! It's not where's Thomas! What do you think? Did it turn out good? It? I kind of got a little broken. It's supposed to not fall like that. Honest to God, if it had fell, I would have pissed my pants. I would have known. That would have been really good. Well, you see, that problem was because of Spirit Halloween. They, they sent you a broken one. No, it's because I put a whole train on the spider mechanism. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not supposed to be a train. <laughs> Who made that? What the? F of course you would make that. Oh my. That got me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So was that, was that... Oh my god. Let's try this on Tori Dabransky. Tori Dabransky! Yes, I'm gonna hang out Thomas, what do you want? There's a weird sound coming from the attic in the craft corner, and I need you to go check it out. Where was the sound? The sound was coming from up there. Can you go check it out? You're more brave than me and Lonnie. That's fine, do you have like a light or something I could use? Uh, here, use my phone. You go Tori Dabransky. Check it out. You're more brave than any of us. Oh my god, what's up behind you? So scary, Robbie. I don't like his face. What are you talking about? He's our new friend. Do you like it, Lonnie? I respect him. That's don't so worry. gross. You've been pranked. Yeah. That's so creepy. How long did it take you to build that? About a day. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, pretty good, right? Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> hey, there's something in the crab corner. We need you to go check it out. Okay. The sound is coming from up in the attic. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You'll be fine. I believe in you. So I have trust issues. Um, you know, you hear that sound? Body on your floor? <laughs> <laughs> You've been pranked! <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it good? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> hey guys! Hey! Are you here to see the ghost? I guess so. Come on in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my basement. <laughs> Oh my god, do you hear that sound? Is it a ghost? Yeah, I hear a ghost what? up there. I'm scared. I don't know what that is. Amazing. <laughs> How the heck did you get here? That's a fuck around. So the ghost is upstairs. I need you guys to go check it out. You might need these. Yeah, put these on. They have little lights. I'll be behind you. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? Is that blood? Oh my god, you see that? It's right above you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Luna's out there! Luna, you have to defeat it! You have to beat Choo Charlie! You have to kill him! I found a screw. Will that do it? Isn't this really relaxing after a six hour drive? No. It's incredible. Alright. What do you think? Isn't it? Doesn't it look great? I'm gonna tumble my way down if you don't get out of my way! That's crazy! Well, there he is. I don't have train parts to defeat him. Well, I think we should get going. Are we gonna go on foot? Look how many legs he's got. <laughs> My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today I'm gonna be trying some professional movie makeup prosthetics on my emo friends. My emo friends should be here any minute. Hi, oh my god, is that Luna Ghosts? I'm ready to have my makeup done. Uh, okay, float over here. Oh yes, we now have our Luna Ghostess. This is the prosthetic we're gonna be doing on her today. It's a, a creepy, scary spider, a spooky spider, if you will. Are you ready to become a spooky spider? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Oh, just go. oh my god, are you okay? I'm so I'm, I'm getting a little too excited here for these prosthetics. I'm so sorry. 
One minute. So this is what it looks like before, guys. It's just your average, everyday prosthetic. I'm gonna have to repaint this entire thing right now. The first step, we gotta put your hair back. I don't even have to, I don't even have to do this part. You don't even have to you're do doing, it. You're doing it completely yourself. I don't even have to do anything. I'm just trying to avoid the palm tree. <laughs> I didn't even know that your ears were stretched like that. Yeah. I didn't know that they were that stretched. First thing first, guys, we're gonna get some Prosade. Just pour some of that right in there. So we're gonna grab our prosthetic and we're just gonna carefully apply some Prosade on the outside. Just line it all up. Is it gonna stick to my piercings? <gasps> I forgot about your piercings! <laughs> oh my gosh. How hard is it to take out and put back in? I don't like doing it, but I can. I think the only major one I need is this one. Is the septum really bad? No. Let me get you a little bowl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we carefully apply the prosthetic. Just close your eyes. Just carefully apply it. It stinks in here. Yes, I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's like a suction cup on my face. Push it onto her. Don't worry, I'm not a professional. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm worrying now. Okay, this is a safe space for crafts and for prosthetics. Now I'm gonna get some makeup and I'm just gonna make it all blend in. This is just regular old, uh, what even is this? It's concealer. This is concealer. I don't know how to use foundation. I don't think, I didn't have any foundation left. So I just use this. Um, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Sure. Is it not? No. Is it bad that I'm using this? No. Am I in trouble? No. <laughs> Are makeup police gonna like arrest me or something? Beep, 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 beep. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put makeup all over. Oh yes, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go in and add some finishing powder to finish it up. Boobity boo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yes, that's so much better. And a little bit of finishing spray. Dry off. That smells <laughs> awful. It really kind of does. And guess what? It yeah. doesn't taste that great either. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Now it's gonna start getting a little messy, so I'm gonna put this right on you. I'm basically grabbing a darker color on my palette and kind of just adding the shadows. This is gonna take a while, so. I guess I'll see you guys at the end of this time lapse. Okay guys, a lot of the shading is done, and now I'm gonna add a bunch of like um, spots and a bunch of little freckles, I guess. Do spiders even have freckles? I'm just gonna add a little bit of red paint into this. <laughs> Oops, there we go, and a little bit of water. Then we're gonna get a coarse bristle brush and just kinda mix it on in there. I'm hoping this doesn't make too big of like, <gasps> oh no! I got the red paint on her pants, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm also gonna add just a little bit of, oh my gosh, just a little bit of brown. And uh, yeah, that should do it. Hey, could you do me a favor? Just hold up this and I'm just gonna test it. You just grab your brush and you just, oh my God, that's perfect. That looks good. That's actually, that turned out really good. Oh, perfect, okay. Oh no, no! Okay, now to test it on the real thing. I don't know why I'm scared, but I'm scared. I would definitely close your eyes. Okay. All right, it'll be fine. Oh, oh, oh my God. there you go. That's pretty good. Oh, I like that. You like that? We have a problem. What's the problem? My nose itches. Oh, I don't know how we're gonna get in there. <laughs> Dang, okay. I love that. Wow. Look at us go. That added so much to it. It did. I'm gonna try that with maybe another color just to add a little bit, uh, another layer of texture to it. A little bit of orange. Whoop. I don't know if this is gonna work actually. We did it. <laughs> now just a little bit of orange. Oh. That was a lot of orange. <laughs> That's pretty dang good. Not gonna lie. I just keep complimenting myself. <laughs> if you put gloss, it'd look cool. If you did glossy in the eyes. You're absolutely right, I need gloss! Let's see, glossy paint. Do we got any glossy paint? I found all these metallic paints uh, and I actually found a metallic black. That's the most uh, metal thing I've ever heard. I'm just gonna start filling in your eye holes. Is there something funny about eye holes? No, no. Just carefully painting the eye holes. I guess there are more eyeballs than eye holes. You got paint in my eye. <laughs> Get it? You Bruh. trolled me. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That does look really, okay, one eye down. Now I just gotta do There's two, four. Six all together, six, so eight. five more. And then I'm probably gonna fill in uh, this part with more black. Time for it to do the last six. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty spooky, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. And this prosthetic also came with a bunch of these fangs. On the website, they painted them black and then just kind of stuck them in these holes. But what goes where? I think these ones are littler ones. Yeah, I just gotta kind of gotta feel it out a little bit. Are you feeling the white fangs or do you think I should paint these black? Because yeah. you have the other teeth too, right? <laughs> Yeah, I do have the other teeth too, because those are gonna be white, but these are gonna be black. I'm just gonna take these really quick to the old craft corner desk and paint them up. I'll be right back in a jiffy, buddy. 
a boobity boop. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in this thing. You can't even see them now. I'm just gonna grab some acrylic paint and just, you know, paint them all. Oh gosh, just mix them all in there. Quick and dirty, you know? Then I'm just gonna grab some parchment paper. Oh yes, they're all painted. And I'm just gonna plop them out on my parchment paper. Now I just gotta wait for all these to dry. One hour later. Okay, we're on the home stretch. We're almost done. I just have to stick in the teeth. I'm filling all the little holes with Prosade. I'm gonna let that get nice and tacky. Now we start sticking the fangs in your holes. It feels so weird. Yeah? Weird. I'm just <laughs> I'm sticking glue up your nose hole. That's what it looks like. Uh, oh my god, there's a hole in this. Remember, we poked holes in it. Oh no! He just put glue in my nose. Don't breathe in your nose. <laughs> I'm just shoving it up your nose. Oh my god. Wow! Look at this go! <laughs> and now we have these fake teeth we're gonna try and put in. In retrospect, I really should have put these in before I did the fangs, but now we have to really work around them. <laughs> so here you go. I'm gonna let you. I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> It looks fantastic. You should put like black on the teeth. Yeah, okay, I'll put a little black. Okay, that's looking pretty good. You're slowly taking away my ability to breathe. <laughs> we'll do this really quick. <laughs> Actually done. Woo, we did it. Woo! That's awesome. How do you think it turned out so far? I think I look super spooky with a lisp. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to say anything. No. <laughs> Rah. Let's finish off with some of the final touches. I'm gonna take your uh, apron off. Wait, the teeth. Oh gosh, okay, okay, carefully. Then we're gonna take this down very carefully. Oh yes, maybe add some spider webs. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. You feel spooky? I feel very spooky. Here, just use it as like a, a scarf. <laughs> you honestly look pretty terrifying. I think it's time to show everyone. <laughs> okay, Luna Ghostus, are you ready to head down to the basement? I'm ready. I told all my friends to meet us down there because I saw something spooky. Time to head down the side. Oh, down the wall pole. Oh, oh my God, guys, Luna Ghostus got bit by spider. Phobia's freaking out right now. <laughs> now she's Luna Spider Stress. <laughs> Stress. Do you need help? <laughs> oh God, get me away! Sacrifice! 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 What happened to my hair? This is an emergency zone. Okay. Do you like want to stay like this forever? Or is this something you're trying to? I can climb walls to get... and stuff. Oh, what? What's your cape? Cape. Oh, cape. 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 C
but it also hurts. It smells awful. I know, I'm so sorry. I hate the smell of vinegar. It smells I'm like vinegar. I'm just trapped inside of it. We almost got it off. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. This so is how satisfying was the satisfying part. This is so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, what's pulling on baby hairs? You're almost released. Ew. Oh my god, you're flopping. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're almost there. You're doing so good. And you're almost free. You're free. <gasps> Woo! You did it. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh, look at my face. Look at my eyes. That's crazy. Okay, guys, time for another prosthetic. I don't really want to do it on myself, so I'm going to try and find the intern. Oh, intern, where are you? In the break room. Oh. How's it going? This guy was just hanging out with my buddy, Mr. Piggy, here in the break room. Oh, Mr. Piggy? Yes, Mr. Piggy. I found him in here. He, he stinks a little bit, but he's, he's my buddy. Do you want me to make you look like uh, Mr. Piggy? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, wait, Mr. Piggy. We're gonna be best, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look just like you. Oh, Where'd you even find this guy? I, I think he was our lunch like three years ago, dude. <laughs> Let's get to it. Okay, intern, are you ready for me to make you into a little pig boy? Yes, I would, I would love that, Robbie. Okay, let's begin. First things first, we're gonna start off with the prosthetic. As you can see, this is a little piggy prosthetic. It's very spooky looking. We got the nose, we have the eye holes. Hey, everybody, I'm a pig man. Are you ready for us to become one intern? I'm ready, Mr. Piggy. <laughs> So the first thing I have to do is uh, pick out his eyes so that his eye holes just come right out. Dang, that actually came out very smooth. I just, wow, that was satisfying. That was like ASMR stuff right there. First things first, we just add our prose to the outside. I'll put my hair up. Now we're gonna carefully try and apply the prosthetic. <laughs> this stuff stinks. I'm going in and I'm actually trimming some of the mask because if you look on the side, it was just way too big for space and it was going onto his hair. So I'm just going in and kind of cutting it a little bit. So I'm gonna use the teeth that I used on Luna and I'm just gonna go ahead and oh. kind of shove them up in there. Wait, Raleigh, did you wash these? I did. Okay. <laughs> there we go, just shove them up in the, up in the gums. Oh, wow. That was yes. pretty good, actually. It does. This is my like only form of breathing. Oh, wow. I like how they're kind of crooked, too. You can feel them. It's sticking into my upper lip. It hurts. Oh, does it? Yeah, a little bit. How's that? Is that better? That's a lot better. Okay. <laughs> now we're just going to take some latex. Yeah, it smells great, guys. Who am I kidding? I can't even smell right now. I'm just going to start blending in the edges a little bit. This is having a really hard time kind of blending in. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some tissue paper for some latex and I'm just building it up, kind of smooth out a little bit so you can't see where the seam is. Just to give you guys kind of an idea of what I'm doing, I'm basically taking this tissue and there's multiple plies in it. So I make sure I get it down to the thinnest ply. And then I don't like having sharp edges on it. I kind of like to blend it out. So, or just kind of tear the edges so that it blends really nicely and kind of random instead of really straight. We got his face all ready. Now we're just gonna pull a classic Robbie move and I'm gonna grab some concealer and just start putting it all over his face. Paint me like one of your French girls, Robbie. <laughs> that looks pretty good if you just ignore that part, you know? Wow, awesome. Now I'm just gonna go in with some latex to help kind of seal everything in. Yeah, that latex made it blend in really good. You got kind of like a shiny look. His neck looks pretty well blended in. Still having a problem with this. Like I said, ignore that. Nice. Now I'm gonna go in and add some of the highlights, some of the shadows, you know, some of the finer details. Blend it in real good. This is gonna take a little while. The intern's makeup is looking absolutely horrid. Look at that. Oh my god. Dude, I feel great. This Dude, looks amazing. It looks like you could be in like a horror film. Yeah, this is like the best one yet. I give it a 10 out of 10 already. Okay, we're just gonna dress you up a little bit and then it's time to scare everyone. Yeah. Okay guys, we dressed up the intern a little bit. Uh, we got him some weapons. Squee! I'm gonna have some fun. I'm already in character. Let's go scare some people. Squee! Here, go hide up in the attic. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, oh my gosh. Santa, what are you doing here? I was 
was told to come down here because something weird's going on. Guys, there's something crazy happening in the attic. I need you guys all to come look. Oh, goodness. Crazy? In the attic? There's something crazy happening in the attic. I want you to come look. What is it? Binge, what is it? What's crazy in the attic, Binge? Do you guys hear that? Hear what? Hear what? Shh. What is happening? Okay, you guys are the bravest people I know, the strongest. Santa, you go first, you're the bravest. Wait, Santa, take this. This is not a good idea. Go, go, go. Alpha Team Force Crap, go. Did you guys hear that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's coming from over there. God, what the heck? Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's faking now? I will have my vengeance. Ah! Go! I think I peed a little. Good. Oh, I'm beautiful! You're beautiful! Why? Ah! This is my new princess! Oh my Let's god! Go. Let's go! He's starting some kind of weird cold, guys! Get in! Oh god! In, oh god! god. Don't take Sarah! We didn't mean to do it! Sorry, you guys tell me I'm beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. You did this to me! You did this to me! I did it's makeup, guys! This what? whole thing was a prank! Oh, okay, that's good. I'm not actually insecure. <laughs> we just got pranked. I had no idea! You've all been pranked! What? Why do you always bring me down from the North Pole for this, Robbie? I'm in flip-flops. Santa, why are you in flip-flops right now? It's the summer. Well, what do you guys think of the intern's beautiful makeup that I just spent uh, three hours on? Fantastic. You look beautiful. Four out of five Santas, but five out of five Robbies. You did great. I really thought I had to say goodbye to my boyfriend for a minute. It looks very scary, Robbie. Very scary pig man. Well, hidden camera guy, what do you think? Trevor! Later. Okay guys, it's time for me to remove the intern's makeup. I'm just gonna go to the side and I'm gonna grab the side of his face, spray some of our Prozade remover. Oh, you guys ready for something satisfying? Whoa! Wow! I didn't even, dude, you were so sweaty. We should just have people like work out next time. Like, just get really sweaty and work out and it'll come off real fast. Oh, here we go. Already halfway, Jesus. That all just came off so fast. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Wow! That felt satisfying. Look at that. That came off so easy. For a moment, I forgot how I actually looked. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna turn intern number six into an old man. Sorry. <laughs> I need to use glue. <laughs> As we do, we pour the Prosade. Hold it right here. Add the Prosade on all the sides like we've done the last six times in this video. Usually I put it into a palm tree. But we're gonna carefully insert this onto your face. Dude, this looks so weird from the side. Oh my god. <laughs> I like to do the eyes first. That way everything else is kind of centered. We're about to have girl dinner because we're working on the sides. Dang. Hey, intern number one, can you hold back intern number five's hair? Yes, of course, of course. Now we're just gonna take his skin and we're just gonna pull it right on back there just to get it really tight and nice and snug on your neck. How does that feel? I feel 10 years younger. I just want you guys to see this gaping hole that I'm working with. That's quite a... <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna work on the other side. Hey, intern, thank you so much for holding his prosthetic down while I do this. No problem, Robbie. I always knew my hands would be on intern number three's neck eventually. <laughs> Okay, intern number three, don't mind me. I'm just uh, giving you some nose holes. Please. Oh. Is that better? Oh, wait, it closed. Let me grab the scissors. Scissors. Hey, Mikey, can you help me with this? We're just all picking his nose as a team. This feels great. <sighs> Such relief. Thank you for okay. picking my nose. <gasps> Bro, you look like a proper little lunch lady. Why is my nose and chin almost touching? That's what I'm saying. I think you're more of like a witch. I originally thought your hair was growing out of your face. Oh my God, that is close. Close to my face. That's scary. <laughs> I apologize. Rest in peace, hair. Now you just have hair growing out of your neck. It's fine. I'm old. It happens. This looks absolutely horrifying and absolutely great so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting makeup all over his face. 
Hey there, Grandma. I got you your water. What took you so long? Get that water. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Bye, Get Grandma. Out of here, intern. I've been wanting the rhinoplasty for the last 50 years. I fixed your nose up, Grandma. Thanks, sonny. And now we're gonna add some more latex onto his entire face just to give him a little bit more realism. Sorry, you don't look very real right now. You don't look like a real boy. Yeah, boy! <laughs> There's a lot of hair stuck to this now. Now it's just hair on your neck. Is this what it's like to get older? <laughs> it smells horrible. Okay guys, we're all just gonna use our drying powers. We're gonna take everything we have. We have the fan, we have the blow dryer, we have this little hand fan. We're just gonna use all of our drying powers combined and make all this latex dry really quick. Five minutes later. Guys, uh, uh, that was kind of out of line, and uh, I just want to give you guys another hand. <laughs> Get out, dude. Okay, just gonna start adding some moles on you and some of the highlights. It's not a mole, it's a beauty mark. It is a beauty mark. They say that the bigger they are, the more beautiful you are. Dang, these moles are glistening. So it's time to add the finishing touches. I'm just gonna take your oh, hair dirt on. Oh, Got it. I'm free at last. I'm free at last. Now everybody put your hands up. Okay, ready? And a whoa, uh, uh. <laughs> Can I just pull it off? No. Okay, a hidden camera guy, I might need your help. Help me on dress, Grandpa. Ah. Oh, this shirt is sticking to your face. Ah. Okay, we fixed it. And now it's time for your brand new fit. I feel like Freddy Krueger on vacation. Here, we could give you this cane. Oh, now I can finally walk again. Give me a hand, sonny. Where are you? Come on. Oh. oh my god. Is your back okay? What do you think? Oh my god. Do you think my back's okay, boy? This pain ain't nothing compared to what I used to do back in my day. <gasps> Honestly, I think I did a, a pretty good job on your face. What? <laughs> what are y'all going on about? I need you to go down my slide. I got like two years left. I ain't got time for this. So out of all the hustle and bustle, I forgot to add the final touch. We're gonna give you some gray hair, Grandpa. Oh, wow. I'm gonna remove your hat. I can't believe I forgot about this. How can I forget about gray hair? Oh, right in my ear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That looks really good. I really like that a lot. Later. Let's go, Grandpa! Come on, Grandpa, I want to show my emo friends some of your cool new makeup. We're going to an emu farm? <laughs> okay, hidden camera guy. I'm sending you in first okay. to keep everyone distracted. Sounds good. Okay, Grandpa, I need you to hop up and go through the portal slide. Here, I'll go in first and you follow me. All right, boy. -o. Grandpa, I'll see you downstairs with all my friends. I'm going through the portal, guys! Oh my god! Grandpa over? Does your grandpa know how to play Uno? Oh, he's great at Uno. Dude, my grandpa is so cool. You guys would be super jealous of my grandpa. Hey, grandpa, can you come on down? What? Grandpa, come on down. What the heck? Oh, that's just his cane. Don't worry. Uh, hey, come on, Does he use cane? Oh my god. Oh. Where am I? It's a grandpa epic sauce. Are you gonna help me up or what? Come on, grandpa. Oh, oh. I think his leg is broken. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh my god. He's a tough old man. Is that Johnny Gilbert? Uh, you were my childhood. <laughs> Henry Williams? Stop! Do you guys like my grandpa's life alert? It's a camera to make sure that I, I'm always watching him. Wait, You're always so. watching me? This is my drip, sonny boy. I just got it like that. I like it. That's I'll what tell I you what, back in my day, we didn't have no fancy technology like this. We had chicken coops and bales of hay. Come on, boy. You don't have no gym. How you get those you gains? I'll teach you what it's like to be a man. Robbie, is your grandpa okay? He's doing great. Look at him. My grandpa is 85 years old. Doesn't he look great for his age? Yeah. yeah. He looks so good. Good, Robbie. The key is snail face masks. I think there's something weird going on with Robbie's grandpa. Mm, 
I think there's a lot of weird things going on with his grandpa. <laughs> so yeah, guys, is it cool if my grandpa and me play Uno with you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Have, yeah. have a seat somewhere. No matters. Grandpa, can you tell us more about when you were a kid? Whenever I was a kid, it was nothing like this. Y'all are depressed? Back in my day, we had the Great Depression. Ah! We were the real, original emos. Uh, hey, Grandpa, I think you might have your uh, yeah. uh, your cards backwards. Everyone can see your cards. All mine say, own you. Robbie, why have I never met your grandpa before? Uh, he's from kind of far away. You know what's far away? My school back in third grade. I walked 14 miles just to get to my first break. <laughs> hey, camera guy, I think I know where Robbie gets it from now. What's that supposed to mean? It's genetics. Can't you see the results? Resemblance? <laughs> Don't we looks, look really handsome? Looks good. Uh, yeah, I see where you get your uh, your nose. Wait, we have the same nose? <laughs> yeah, look it. That's always been my favorite thing about Grandpa. He has such a strong nose. Yeah, back in 1923, cool. they used this as a diving board in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have the same energy. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, so we playing Uno or, or what? <laughs> yeah. Hey, draw two. Draw four. What? Sorry. Oh draw my God. Four. What? It's what? not your turn, Gramps. Hey. Hey, can you stop being such a dick to my grandpa? <laughs> Yo, on God, he doesn't understand God. what's cap. Like, he ain't that poggers, man. I used to be the pog champion back in my day. You're you're the pog champ. I'm the pog champ. Oh my God, it's so <laughs> nice to meet you. Legend. Yeah, I know it is. Crazy. <laughs> Honestly, Gramps, you're truly a legend. I know. I invented tornadoes and cornfields. I worked on the gosh dang farm, boy. And why don't you speak something I can understand? I just hear a bunch of jibber jabber. I can't I understand a word you said. Kids these days have it so easy. Back in my day, I'd walk 20 miles to school covered in horse feces just to shade myself from the sun. Tori Brands, my dear girlfriend, what do you think of my grandpa? I, I can definitely see why we haven't really met him yet. Robbie, your grandpa called me Alex Arame, and that's not me, so. He also thinks I'm Johnny, but he thinks everyone with eyeshadow is named Johnny, so I guess I'll let it slide. Honestly, dude kind of smells like cat piss. What the heck is even rat mist? I was thinking you kind of smell like beef, but cat piss checks out. Ooh, I like the smell of beef. What do you think about my, my grandpa hitting camera guy? Uh, I think the nose is probably like the best part about him. Uh, definitely want to take a dive off of it, you know? <laughs> oh, Trevor! Okay, guys, now we're going to be removing grandpa's face. I'm just going to peel it all back just like this. Actually, I did a pretty good job. You can barely see the face line. Oh, yes, I'm pushing it into grandpa's throat hole. Do you guys ever uh, put a paintbrush in your grandpa's throat hole? Ow, my throat hole. Oh, oh that's coming right off. You're doing great. I'm just taking your face off. <laughs> wow. Just leave part of the prosthetic to your neck. Oh my God. Oh. I'm sorry, you just got your eyebrows like waxed too. Oh. That's a way my eyelashes and shit, I'm good. Oh. You can see where your eyebrows came off on the prosthetic. Can you see that? <laughs> oh my God. No. Oh man. Ah. Okay, there you uh, go. You are now uh, free! And this is what you look like! Wow. Oh, I look great. No Thank problem. you for doing this to me. Thanks yeah. for being such a good sport. I feel no, great. I feel fantastic. Um, I, feel, I feel at least 50 years younger. <laughs> How you doing? My name is Robbie, and guess where we are, guys? Robbie's Craft Wow, very good! And back in 2020, Tori really wanted to see the musical Beetlejuice. So we hopped on a plane, went to New York, and we all saw Beetlejuice, and it was awesome. I've never been a big fan of musicals, but they're fantastic, gotta say. So anyway, fast forward to today. Beetlejuice is now in Las Vegas, so I'm gonna be surprising my girlfriend, Tori Dabransky, with realistically repainted Beetlejuice masks and tickets to go see the musical. But the show is in two days, so let's get started. Okay guys, say it with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! Oh! And there he is, the Beetlejuice. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna make
make this much better than it already is, but I'm gonna try my dang best. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this head inside of this head, and also, I kind of forgot to mention that this head also has another head. Get on there. Pretty nightmare fuel, look at that. Looks like I'm ripping his face off. Pretty good side profile now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these teeth are great, but I think it would be even better if I tried to replace them with these fake ones. Because these ones are kind of rubbery, if you know what I mean. But honestly, they don't look bad. So it looks like we're gonna be doing a little bit of surgery. I really hope this works. Otherwise, I kind of messed up the mask. Okay, now he's missing a tooth. Let's see how it looks if I replace it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty spooky. I'm gonna cut this part to the gums. Time to be a dentist, I guess. We'll just insert his teeth. It's kind of scary how good that looks. So yeah, that's uh, one tooth down and a bunch more to go. So I managed to get the top teeth in and they actually look really good. That's really giving this mask that uncanny valley that I was really going for. Now I have to attempt to do the bottom teeth. What I did was I put a bunch of hot glue in there and now I'm just kind of inserting them from the inside. Okay, I got his bottom rows in. Uh, I made them a little short by accident, but you know, you can still see them and they look pretty good. So now I'm gonna go in and try and paint his gums and his lips. A little bit of this and a little bit of this. I guess I'm gonna have to try and mix them together and just a little bit of pink. I'm really bad at the mixing process, so I'm sorry if his gums don't look very good. Now let's try and paint his gums. This is so creepy. It looks like I'm holding someone's mouth open. Yeah, I don't really like how the pink turned out, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe mix in a little bit of red. Yeah, that's starting to look a lot more like natural gums. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna start with the lips now. Okay, so his mouth is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go in and repaint some of this uh, moss. Maybe make it just a bit more, you know, super bright. Ooh, or this dark green looks pretty nice. I'm just going in and touching up all these little spots. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and also take off the Beetlejuice sign. Just gotta hold his hair back like this, you know? Come on, let me get behind your ear. Hey, Robin! Uh, yeah, Toby? What are you doing to this poor man? I'm painting him green. But Robbie, it's not easy being green. It's not easy being green. Get out of here, Toby. <laughs> oh, that was rude. Anyway, uh, let's get back to this. And this really doesn't have to look perfect because I'm gonna end up putting some fake moss all over the green to make it look a little better. Now I'm gonna grab some latex. I'm gonna have to put this guy's hair back. So I guess in the meantime, he can borrow this, I guess. Here you now go. I have to carefully put this on his head without touching the green paint I just did. This is so weird. It feels like I'm doing this to a real person. <laughs> uh, this looks so real. I put his hair back in a little band. I'm gonna carefully cover everything I just did in latex. Is that good? Does that taste good, Mr. Beetlejuice? Ah, that tastes so bad. Honestly, I don't wanna get uh, anything inside the eye holes, so I'll be right back. There you go, some top tier googly eyes for your eye holes. That ought to help a little bit. Oh my God, I have sentience now. Shh, shh, shh. I'm still painting you. You need to calm down and stop moving. Okay, I'm sorry. Look at what you're doing. I can't have this, that's disgusting. Mm. No, open your mouth. Uh... Okay, stop, stop, stop. This is a lot right now. Maybe you just quit it. It's like a nice relaxing facial. What did I just tell you about talking? I'm sorry, I'm just really enjoying the sentience. Oh God. I'm getting the latex everywhere. I think I'm gonna do the not painted parts first because the paint is still a little wet. Whenever I get it on the latex, it seems to kind of spread everywhere. So just keep that in mind when you're painting these. Yeah, let me get that in your ear. Oh no, stop, I don't like that. Oh, you like that? Oh my God, stop! Be quiet. Okay, well, uh, you just kind of chill out here and uh, I'm gonna go have lunch. What? Lunch? Can I have some? Nope, you can't. Um, you're gonna have to stay here. You don't even have a stomach. I guess you're right. Okay, I'll stay here. Five minutes later. Ooh, you got a little fly there. Get off of there. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, so now I'm gonna start gluing some moss to your face. I got a few different colors of moss. Uh, that way I can kind of, uh, you know, scatter them around and make them look real good. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of like almost a sponge. It's very nice. But basically, I'm gonna go in with my hot glue gun. A little hot glue. There we go. I'm gluing little broccoli to him. And a little bit of this super bright green. Now I just gotta do the rest of his face. Are 
We're just gonna try and pull his hair down really quick. There you go, Mr. Beetlejuice man. Pull all this forward, I guess. I definitely got some hot glue in your hair and I apologize. Maybe it's the googly eyes throwing it off. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's see if I can get you some better eyes. Oh, yes, these look pretty good. So many eyes. Yeah, those might work. Oh my God, Johnny Gilbert? Hi. Is that you? Ugh, get out of here. Everybody tell me what's gonna going on. Reinsert the eyes really quick. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. That's pretty freaking weird. You know what? I think I'm gonna try it on. Oh yes, this is really uh, something else. <laughs> here we go. How's that look? I think I'm gonna go and glue his eyes in really quick. I'm definitely not gonna be able to see anymore, but that's fine. Okay guys, I think I got it. Let's see if I can do this without knocking him out. How's that? Oh. My God, <laughs> Is that pretty spooky or what? Well, everybody, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for saying my name three times. <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty stoked with how this turned out, honestly. It's very realistic. I feel like it's a very drastic improvement over how it looked before. So I'm gonna have to say this one was a success. Wow. Yeah, that's really spooky seeing this in person. Anyway, let's paint Barbara and Adam. Ah, oh, yes, good old Adam. How does Adam sound? He's kind of nerdy, right? So he's like, I have no teeth, but I have like seven eyes, not in my eye holes. Yeah, that sounds about right, right? That's Adam. Yeah, so what can we improve on Adam? So he looks pretty good already, not gonna lie. Is this a hand or is this like a waddle? Ooh, that's creepy. Ah! in general doesn't really have a lot of teeth, but the teeth he does have, I feel like we can improve on those just like we did with Beetlejuice. First things first, Adam, I'm gonna be your dentist today. Open wide. Okay, and Adam's teeth are actually looking really good. Look how spooky that is. They look so real. This looks like a real, real mouth now. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use this Iron Man mask to hold up my Adam mask. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Well, let's get to painting Adam. I'm just gonna go in with some concealer and just sort of start painting him. Boopity boop. Oh, wow. Adam, your complexion is looking fantastic. Mm, thank you so much. And how's that? Does it look like it's worth it? This is before and this is after. I definitely think I'm gonna go in and clean up some of the shadows too. But overall, I think this uh, gives him more of like a lifelike color. So I'm just gonna continue doing the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna repaint the inside of Adam's mouth a little bit. I have to make a gum shaded red. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in and repaint his mouth a little bit, especially where the hot glue is. Oh yes, Adam, my boy. A few moments later. And what do you guys think? I think we're looking pretty good. One more thing, actually. I want to darken his eyes. Not bad. Oh yes, that's much better. Now it's time for latex. <laughs> Okay guys, so the last thing I need to do for Adam is uh, redo some of these eyes that go on the tips of your fingers. They definitely look a little rough and that's why I'm gonna cut out the pupils and I'm gonna replace them with some of these fake eyes I bought on Amazon. I bought a bunch of different ones just to see uh, which ones I, I want. I did also debate on using googly eyes, which I think would be really funny, but it would probably look a lot more realistic if I used some of these realistic eyes I got off of Amazon. Well done. So many eyeballs. I'm just gonna go in and cut out your eye hole. There we go. Which eyeball do I like the best? I'm just gonna go in and shove this eye right through the eye hole. Ooh, look at how bright that is. So this one's before and this one's after. This one definitely looks a lot more spooky. I'm gonna start cutting out a bunch of eye holes and start popping in the eyeballs. But I guess that's after I put in the hot glue. This is gonna be a pretty meticulous process, not gonna lie. And there we have it. Now that is a good eyeball. And now nine more to go. So after kind of like accidentally shoving the eye hole in the wrong side, I kind of like how it looks where the eye is like like red around it versus like this side. This looks a lot better than this. So I'm probably actually gonna switch, which might look a little silly now that I think about it. Also, I decided to take my Posca pens and just kind of like put them like this. So now they're just kind of pushing the eyeball up and hopefully that stays in place. Just experiment with it. Try different methods, I suppose. Okay, we got all of our eyes done and some of them definitely turned out a little better than others. So now I want them all to kind of stay up like this. But they all seem to kind of tumble over if I touch them too much. So what I'm gonna do is grab some screws, just drill them into my disc like that. And we're gonna take our eyes and just place them right on there. Boom, bam, easy peasy. Now they're standing up real good. There's definitely no knocking them over now. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go in and add some latex to everything just like we did to everything else, just to give it that lifelike texture, you know? Okay, there we go. Ah, yes, Barbara is up next. Now Barbara has a lot of teeth, like way 
way more teeth than Adam. Like, Adam, I probably could count how many teeth he had on both of my hands, but Barbara has a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this one little section right here. I'm really hoping that I actually can make this work. I'm a little nervous. Oh, yeah, it's boop -a boop it's definitely going to be a rough one, especially with these teeth. It's going to be a rough journey. I'm going to have to hold every single tooth in place, which is fine. I signed up for this. I'm going to carefully hand insert every single tooth. That's all we got to do, you know? Okay, so that's looking like a pretty good improvement so far over the other teeth. The other teeth definitely look a lot more fake in comparison now. Ooh. Look at those choppers. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit, and then uh, on to the next section. Okay, so the teeth are looking pretty good, not gonna lie. They're almost a little too good. They look really scary. Look at these very realistic looking teeth. That's uh, pretty spooky, not gonna lie. So now I'm gonna go in with some makeup. I've been using paint this whole time, but I can't really seem to get the color quite right to be gum. So I'm gonna try it with this paint instead. Cause normally I have to mix it and then I have to get it just right, but I don't feel like I'm quite there with my artistic skills, so. Oh my gosh, that is a perfect, ma oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this. That's it's almost like the perfect color to match the gums. I should have just used this. Lesson learned, I suppose. I'm just gonna go in and paint over the hot glue. I'm just gonna go in with a makeup wipe and start uh, cleaning up where I got it on where I didn't want to get it, like these teeth. Remember guys, makeup wipes can clean up makeup, but they can't clean up your problems. I had to learn that the hard way. Now we're just gonna go in with our liquid latex and seal everything off. I'm pretty happy already with how Barbara's painted, so I'm gonna leave her skin color kind of like the same. It was really the teeth I just really wanted to emphasize on this one. She just has so many teeth. So Barbara is looking absolutely fantastic. Look at these chompers. Absolutely beautiful. Her gum line also looks very natural. Uh, I'm really happy with this actually. Now I just need to replace these eyes and I think I'm just going to basically cut the black part away maybe a little bit or even better. I'm going to go in and paint the eyes white and then add some veins around it kind of like how Adam's look. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so that's looking pretty good. Yeah, pretty happy with how the white turned out. Now we'll go in and add some of the red. Yeah, that turned out pretty good. Now we're gonna take some of these realistic eyes that I had for Adam. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue these on in here. Ha ha! Ooh, yeah, that turned out pretty good. That's pretty creepy. Ah! I spread some of the paint up here, so I gotta fix that. But I'd say that that turned out pretty good. Then I'm just gonna finish the eyes off with some latex. I'm also gonna put some latex on the tongue to give it kind of like a slimy look. Latex for everything, honestly. I'm just putting latex on my latex mask. Don't mind me. Now I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, and I think we're just about done. Okay, guys, the Adam mask is all done, and he looks absolutely fantastic with his brand new teeth. Nah, thank you so much. So since I'm going to be wearing the Beetlejuice mask, I have to find someone else to wear the Adam mask. Oh, intern! I'm in my room! Oh, yeah, so I was just wondering if you could wear a little mask for me. I love masks. I mask my depression every day. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, intern, so the first thing I'm going to need you to do is put these on for me. <laughs> Robbie, why am I dressed up as a white suburban man? <laughs> you look great! Now I need you to put this on. Okay. Wow, well, intern, you look absolutely uh, disgusting. Here, give me your hands. My hands? Yeah, we're just gonna take what? these eyeballs and we're just gonna stick them right on your hands. Why are you sticking them there? I'm I sticking them right there because this is how Adam sees. Uh, who's Adam? I, th I thought I was the guy from Spy vs. Spy. You really do kind of look like him, <laughs> not gonna lie. After I put these on your hands, you're gonna be able to see real good. You're gonna have more than 20 20. You're gonna have 20. 20 times 20 times 20 times 20 times 20. And there you go, now you are Adam! How do you feel? I feel blind. You definitely are blind. The eye holes are, are up here, Robbie. Anyway, let's go do Barbara next. Okay, now that Barbara is all done and she looks absolutely horrid and realistic, I'm gonna need another volunteer to wear this mask. Oh, intern number three! Oh! What's up, buddy? Hey there, I need you to uh, wear this Barbara mask for me. What? Yeah, just, uh, come on, come on down here. Okay. But before we do the mask, I'm gonna need you to put these on. What is it? You're about to find out. Oh no. Am I pretty? Yeah. Tell me I'm pretty. We need to put your wig on, but we'll wait for the mask first. Tell me I'm pretty. I've never felt so myself. That's fantastic, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. Okay, here we go. Cool, yeah. Wow, can you see? No. Okay, yeah, you're not going to, because I actually put <laughs> eyes in the eye holes. <laughs> Yeah, I think making it look more realistic is more important than you seeing. Ha ha! You look absolutely Beautiful. horrifying! Woo! I think we did a great
great job. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna go get the other answer. Okay, intern, here you go. You have to stand right here. You guys look absolutely great. Thank you. I can't even see myself. So now I need you guys to say Beetlejuice three times, okay? Beetlejuice! 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 It's showtime! How do you guys think I look? You look great! Absolutely horrifying, Robbie. Can you even see me? Uh, with with my fingers. I think none of us can actually see, and we're about to all walk down Tori's basement. Let's go show Tori and get her some Beetlejuice tickets. Okay, guys, uh, we're doing a train, and we're all guiding each other to Tori Dobransky's room. Oh my god, I look terrifying. I can't see anything. I apologize in advance if this is filmed really bad. I can't see a thing that I'm filming. You got this? You got the, Okay, hold on. Okay, you're good. Do you see it all, Mikey? Yeah, very Narrow. Let me know when there's a step. Why aren't you wearing shoes? <laughs> I took them off to get in the slide. Okay, guys, you ready to surprise Tori Dabransky? I'm freaking hyped. Okay, guys, try not to trip down the stairs. Maybe we guys are trying. If one of us goes, we all go down. <laughs> guys, I think Tori Dabransky's over there. No oh, hey, Tori Dabransky. Hi, are you okay? Guys, yeah, she has no idea what's about to happen. Yeah, Tori Dabransky, I have a surprise for you. You ready? Oh, my God. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Beetlejuice. <laughs> I lost an eye. Oh, here, I'll get it for you. <clears throat> what do you think? You guys look great. Oh my god. Do you like me now? <laughs> I do. <laughs> you look so cute, Robbie. I like your eyeballs you have in there. Do you think I got some good eye holes? Do you have some great eye holes? Wait, Thank let you me, so much. Let me see it. Tori Dabransky, do you feel surprised? Oh god. I'm a little scared. Where are you? Yeah, there is Tori. I'm in front of you. Oh well, Tori Dabransky, we have another surprise for you. Yeah? We're going to go see Beetlejuice. <laughs> We're going in two hours. No, what? I can't wait to drive there. Um, oh, I might, we might need you to drive. That's fine, I could drive. No, oh, I got it. I'm really excited for this. Oh God. Don't worry, I got this. Okay. Guide us all up toward the branch. Okay, let's I lost my out. buddy. Let's all go to Beetlejuice. What do you think of his mask? Your mask is awesome. It looks so scary. <laughs> Are you going to see Beetlejuice? Yes, you guys look awesome and amazing. <laughs> Seriously, you guys all look so what good. What do you give it out of 10? I give it... I'll give it a 10. 10 out of 10! This guy has the best vision out of all of us. Yeah, even one with the fingers. You ain't even seen the movie. <laughs> I, I can't, it's too I young. can't. I can't touch anything though. What but do you no. give it out of 10? Well, for the fact that it's a set of three, I'll give y'all like a, we'll go like nine and a half. Nine and a half. I feel like we're still missing Olivia though. Please <laughs> excuse me, sir. What would you rate the painting of this man? <laughs> I'd give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Who's your favorite out of these three? Probably you. Uh, I'll give you a high five. Okay, bet. Hey, excuse me. Uh, what would you rate the painting of these masks? Oh gosh. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Holy yeah. face. That so Dude, so that's good. awesome. Yeah. You guys are yeah. killing it. High five. High five. Oh, high five. oh. oh no, I'm dead. Oh, 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 oh. 10 out of 10. 10 eyeballs out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> I give him a, like a 12. Yeah. Yeah. 12. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be reviewing $10,000 worth of animatronics. And make sure to stay tuned till the very end, because we're gonna be plugging every single one of these in at the exact same time. Which one should we stop for? I kind of want this one. I want to do this one first. This one looks good. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah. Jump it all out. Jump it all out. Oh, yes. Don't worry, guys. We have a professional toy maker here. We don't even have to worry. You got this, Santa. Go, Santa. Go, Santa. Oh, here you go. Here's the sandbags right here. I've never shafted this hard in my life. I just shaft my pants. <laughs> Guys, it says right here, warning, only complete this connection after the item is fully assembled. I'm scared to know what that means. I feel so provocative <laughs> looking into Satan's skirt. We have a little problem, and by a little problem, I mean uh, it's too big. This is gonna be a good one, I can already tell. This is my little friend. Oh! This one's a little lame. Okay, everybody, Christmas is coming to town. Let's open up Monty next. 
Yeah. My six foot tall monkey man. Yeah, I don't think we need this anymore. Is that my uncle? It's been so long. No. Enter number three. I missed you. I've missed you so much. Hunky Wunky the monkey. Give me a big old kiss. <laughs> because that's what me and my uncle do. Oh. <laughs> that's what we do in Texas. Wait, can I put Velcro too? So you can just put on like a vest? No way. <laughs> We don't even need the animatronic. We could just have enter number three be the animatronic. I told you we're related. Come on, get your pants on, monkey man. I think we should just put the monkey's head right on the pants. There we go, and we're done. This is gonna be the best head you ever had, I guarantee you. I honestly have no idea how this one's gonna move, so this is gonna be interesting. This made me look like a monkey. I have no idea which one's the animatronic and which one's enter number three. What's going on? Oh, that's not too bad. This one like a, a four out of ten. Which one should we do next, boys? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. I like it. We got Mr. Stilty, seven foot nine. Whoa. This guy's ready to be a basketball player. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. That's definitely nightmare fuel. Go, you guys got this. I'm here for moral support. Yeah, you're doing great. Oh boy. Do I look cool? Oh, you look so cool. Oh, oh, that's. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, oh, well, good luck putting that together. Is this guy my father? He has blue hair and he's striped. Father, is that you? Hey, how's it going there, big boy? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, his head completely turns around. Santa wants to throw up. What would you boys rate this one? That's definitely the scariest one yet. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Ugh. For 350 bucks, not bad. Okay, boys, it looks like we're starting to run out of room. Let's do a slightly smaller one next. Uh, Mr. Nightcrawler here. This one has a bunch of small pots and a bunch of hands and feet. Oh, that's nightmare fuel for sure. Grab my good hand. Grab my good hand, Robbie. This is the Nightcrawler. 200 bucks. I'll get it in Santa. Let's see what he does. Is What's he gonna, gonna do? Is he gonna twerk? He's twerking on Robbie. Oh! Oh! Is he a horse? Woo Reminds me of back home. I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10 because I thought he jumps 10 feet in the air. Oh! We got it! Oh. So today we're working with a Martian warrior. I got a head. Dude, this is sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It reminds me of Buzz Lightyear. Who is Kennedy? Hand me off! I don't need this anymore. The instructions that I wrote for everybody. In turn, put the, put the pants on. I know how to make a sturdy product. Well, hold on, you ripped it. Not so sturdy after all. Hey, man. Man. Go in turn, install that gym pack. Now it's ready to fly. Am I scary now? I'll get you. Get through the job, ah! Now you just put very, very <laughs> carefully. What do you guys think is going to happen with this one? I don't know, but rule number one says never stand in front of that. Oh. 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 Wow. That's some good fog. Ah! This one was $399. <laughs> I would say the ease of putting it together makes a 7 out of 10 for Santa. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I really like this one. I guess it's pretty cool. I'm going to give it a, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 as well. Oh, let's do another clap. Okay, and it. What's in the box? It's a head. Ah! Me and Pennywise go way back, man. <laughs> I'm guessing you put this thing into this thing. You'd be wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. Oh, hi, Santa. We all float here. Look at these teeth. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Remember, if you're ever wondering where the hands go, you just say thumbs up. And thumbs the thumb, up. The thumb goes up. <laughs> it's a little saggy of a Hi, Georgie. Wow. Can we kill it with fire? <laughs> <laughs> this animatronic costs $240. Look, I was really excited about this, and I was kind of let down. Oh, oh it's not very fuel for me. Yeah, I would honestly, I'd give this like a 5 out of 10. You know what? This was $230. I'm going to give it a 2.4. I'd give this a 4.5 out of 5. What are you doing? I just want some love, bro. If it's with this clown, I'll float. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's move this guy to the fire. I mean the back. Bye, Mr. Clown Man. Bye. Now. Oh, gosh. I got another one for you. Here you go. Whoa. Uh, this this is where I'm from. Yeah. Get this chain. 
everyone, I have a very important notice. Do not remove the foam. Do remove not foam. remove any foam that looks like this. Look, if you remove this foam, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up. Robbie, I've been removing the foam this whole time. Ah! All right, guys, it's not like we have a bunch of stuff around this to mix up all the parts. How big is my leg? <laughs> That's not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> you know what? I think we all need to be wearing costumes right now. From now on, I'm going to be wearing this mask, and it's going to make productivity even higher. I hate to be part of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> What's this? Wow, that's pretty spooky. Let's put this together using this or ruin this mask. Okay. Well, oh, yes, how are you doing, everyone? This seems like a great way to increase productivity. <laughs> it's a lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! My child in real life! Oh! Is that your mama lunch lady? My mom's a lot prettier than this, I just gotta say. I need you to think about something for a minute. How do knees work? There you go. I don't know. <laughs> How do knees work? God, this looks like a saw trap, right? Let me just put my head in this really quick. Ah! Oh, we need number three. What are you expecting? I'm expecting right now. This man's gonna be dressing nicer than me. What do you guys think? Do I look fabulous? Oh, uh, yes. Wow, I look like I'm balding. Oh, for Gundam style! Ooh, 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 ooh. He's looking fantastic. The Texas lunch lady mask. Here's your lunch apron. We need to remove the hairnet? No! Look at this long, luscious head. Look at that. Hey! Hey, you look so good! Oh! That's how I chainsaw, too. This is the only way I chainsaw. Well guys, for $280, I would probably rate this a solid 7 out of 10 maybe. Honestly, I gave it a 9 out of 10 with the hairnet, and the second the hairnet came off, it dropped to a 6. He's just being biased because they're both from Texas. That's right. Yeah! <laughs> it wasn't a massacre, it was a Saturday night yeah. family reunion. It was a family reunion, I tell you what. Santa gives it a 5 out of 10, just that mouth. It's just too much. Wow. I found one back here, boys! I got you! <laughs> Oh God, that's heavy. Hey, George. $180. Here's the proof right there. Proof is right in the pudding. Honestly, these are my two moves. We got, oh, uh, and then we got, ah. Uh, I like it, guys. I think we should just wear that from now on. I'm calling shenanigans. These I'm, a, the same I'm a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man, bro. Hold on. Let me see this real quick. the same hands as our jumping man. Uh. As this boy. We got the same hand. Your hand. High five. Colors. What an introspection about humans. Is this a torso? Lick the meat. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's actually terrifying. Oh my oh god. My god. Whoa! $180. What would you rate this one? I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. It's so good. I'm going to give this one a solid 8 out of 10, honestly. This is pretty good. Probably my second favorite one so far. Look how nice he looks. Honestly, good job, Spirit Halloween. Well, this one's here. We got a 12 foot animated mummy. 12 feet? <laughs> oh my. Usa? You missed the cloud so much, you decided <laughs> to become him. <laughs> Whoa! Don't remove the foam. Okay. This is gonna be a big one. He's a big boy! This is the shoulders. Look how much wider his shoulders are than mine. And I'm already a big guy. Guys, there's a lot of wires okay, here. These. these what? <laughs> there we go. We gotta put these pants on. Big pair of pants. Big responsibility. Take this and go. Honestly? Oh, wow! That's yeah. smart. Wow. I like that. You know we're a really cute couple. <laughs> oh. Oh. He doesn't even need legs. Big body, tiny legs. Big body, tiny legs. Woo! Guys, I look so tiny compared to this animatronic. Okay, are you ready? Do it, mummy. Oh wow, I like how he glows. Is it good? Honestly, for 350 bucks, he doesn't really do a lot. Well, that was a five out of 10. I'm gonna have to give this a solid uh, six out of 10. I'm gonna go with five. F five out of 10. Oh yes, more lunch lady action. I'm terribly sorry, Robbie's mom. <laughs> Quirky little zombie. Oh, guy Wait, is everything pinned in? I never questioned my pin. <laughs> oh wow, I like how you play with that flap. Oh jeez. Nice. Good stuff right there. Turtlenecks yeah. fix everything. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see what $250 of pure zombie horsepower will do? Okay, Santa, plug it in. Alright, technical difficulties. 
A solid seven out of ten. Um, he looks really good for for two hundred fifty bucks. You know what I mean? I think I did a great job. His wrist is a little funky. Um, you know it's fine. Uh, oh, oh, my bad. Uh, he, he doesn't need that. Now we have the sixty dollar animatronic I got from uh, Big Lots. Not bad. Okay, you guys ready to see this this bad boy? Oh, just gonna let me see what this guy does. Oh. Yeah. 12 out of 10. 13 out of 10. Are you on box? Boom! Wow. We take all of these down and take them back. 60 bucks. That's 60 bucks I ever spent, I'll tell you that. On to Jack Carver. Oh, oh no! I wish you could Come see on. all that. Oh, that's spooky! Oh, wow! Came with this really cool spear Halloween mask. 10 out of 10, just for the mask. Something is telling me that this right here goes in the front. Does this. Where does this go? What is this thing? Get in there. That goes in there like that. Shove those right in there. Good job. We're dressing this man. Ooh, look at me go. I am just long arms. I'm just hammered. With <laughs> It's a regular little shirt. Yeah. Put it. Put his little me hoi me no arms in there. <laughs> me and the intern have a lot in common. Um, his name is Break. Uh, I like to break things. You gotta make sure that uh, you really listen. Uh, raising the roof. Lowering the roof. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, bro! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> One out of ten. One. What? Sixty nine? Oh wow! You know what? I'm gonna rate this one a six point nine. <laughs> I'm gonna give this eight out of ten. Wow! Eight out of ten. Okay, here we go. We got Spike. I wonder why his name is Spike. Maybe he's like a dog or something? I don't know. Do you think that's why it's called Spike? That's beautiful. No way. Oh, that's how you're supposed to hold it. You hold him like this. Yeah. yeah. There we go. For just one dollar a month, <laughs> you can help dogs just like Spike here. In the eyes of the oh, yes, this is looking pretty good. That's, uh, this is how it's supposed to go, right? Oh, oh, oh. As a dog goes. $52.90. What would you guys rate this guy? 10 out of 10. That's a small adoption fee, guys. Come on, there are a lot of dogs in shelters just like this one. Santa says 2 out of 10. Worst dog ever. Doesn't even bark. 3 out of 10. Throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> My dog, bro! My dog! It's okay. Come here. No! No! So it's very delicate, so you gotta be really careful when you unbox this one. That's what you Okay, I need a, a screwdriver. And also batteries, probably. Very stronger than that. Here you go. Bruh. I like it. We didn't have to do anything for this. <laughs> oh! Challenge mode! Oh, God. Over here! Come on! You can do it! Come on! Why are you talking about like Bench? Come on! Come on! Come on! Good job! So it was a 10 out of 10 for the assembly, a 1 out of 10 for my, my good friend Robbie throwing batteries at me. <laughs> And it was a uh, four out of five as an animatronic. She did her job well. This girl was ninety dollars. I could have beat you one better for free. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a five out of ten because that is the average of what Santa gave this. I'm gonna have to give them a good old six out of ten. Okay. I love having Santa here because it's like it being Christmas every day. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. I feel like the spider probably feels so vulnerable right now. Oh my god! Just... I'll get it eventually! I promise this has never happened like this before. There we go. What are you doing? I'll try to take this out. Why? Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to do that. Okay. What are you doing to this poor spider, Robbie? Hundred bucks! For a glowing spider. Ah, ah, ah. I don't think this was an animatronic. Wow, well, like... I give this not animatronic a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Why isn't its face illuminating? Oh, weird. I wonder if somebody yanked something out that was supposed to be plugged in. What? What would you guys rate this one? It's not an animatronic, so it gets a zero. <laughs> yeah, it's just a decoration. Show me the movement. Ah, 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 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It, did, it, did, it literally doesn't. It's not an animatronic. It's not scary at all. Zero out of ten. Throw it in the trash. This is like. Santa. Oh, yeah. Why does he have two left foot? Santa, it's not fitting. Ready? Yes. You sure? Yes. Oh! <laughs> His neck flap's sticking out. Let me fix that for you, buddy. I find this one less uh, scary and more sad. What would you rate this $209 animatronic? He's real handsome, but I'm gonna give it a six. What? That, it's not that scary. It just made me sad. Yeah, I agree. He was a really sad man. I want to befriend him more than anything. I'll give you a 7 out of 10. I'm um, definitely a 5 out of 10 for sadness. They um, they really made me feel with this one. Up next is Bluetoothy the Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what they say about Big Feet? Oh. It means that he has a massive yes. pair of socks. Oh. I don't oh. even know where I'm going to put these. <laughs> ah, ah. You guys are doing a great job. Thanks for putting these together for me. <laughs> To be or not to be. He's hanging up. He's we'll simulate him hanging up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, There's a lot you can do with a clown. Wow. You can rent me out for birthday parties. I'll oh, always yeah. bring a smile Very when you say. I'll even here, cry at here. your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got it. Oh, he fell off again. For 212 bucks, what would you guys rate this guy? No, and get a better head fastener. I give this a 3 out of 10. I feel like I'm going to have to also rate this pretty low. Probably a, a 2 out of 10. This is my favorite part of him. <laughs> right now, we got Darling Dolly. Oh. We got another lunch lady. Oh. Oh, let me get free your luscious hair. Oh. Wow. Just put that right in there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, she's all put together. She's a big girl. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about her is her posture. <laughs> she reminds me a lot of my soul. Oh, 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 I don't like that. Oh, boy. I was not expecting that one, actually. Her posture reminds me of whenever I'm sitting at my computer for too long. I just love how she caresses me. All that aside, I think this is a pretty solid one. I'd say this is a good 8 out of 10. Why? And I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. You copied my score. That's my score. Oh god, oh god. She doesn't like when we argue. Guys, are you ready for the most famous animatronic of all? <laughs> Billy the Big Mouth Bass. I've known this animatronic since I was a child. I was afraid. I was petrified. Woo! What would you guys rate this one? A million out of ten. Honestly, this is the very best one. Mm -hmm. I'd give this a ten out of ten easily. Release him from his prison. Rudolph. And if you guys are wondering where all the boxes went. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I feel like I could fall into them. You ready? Whoa! Okay, guys, it's time for the big moment you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna turn them on at the same time. Okay, everyone, count down. Three, two, one. Oh my god! <laughs> this is what happens when you turn them all off at the same time. <laughs> Everything just kind of died. Do you think that was worth $10,000? That's a question for you to answer. What I just did to my pants is worth $10,000. Down <laughs> in the comments down below, tell me which one was your favorite. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications because I'm going to be uploading Spirit Halloween videos all month. Woo! Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and bye bye. I'm ready. Okay. Ah! Okay. Guess how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is Robbie's Traveler. And today we're going on a mission. A mission to find an animatronic. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Robbie, Robbie you have so many animatronics already. So many. You just did a video where you unboxed ten thousand dollars worth of them. Look, I know, okay, but this one, this one's different. This one is Lewis. My name is Lewis. And that's why I'm going to Target. Guys. He's here. Lewis is secured. Oh god. Okay, it's time to 
put this guy together. Lewis! I've put together so many animatronics, this should be easy, okay? Worst case scenario, I call up Santa. Christmas isn't for another three months, so I think he's not busy, you know? Last but not least, the try me button. Okay, are you guys ready for Lewis and all of his glory? All right, once I put down his skirt, Lewis didn't mean to expose you, my guy. And plug it in! Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Lewis! I'm so happy you... Oh, I stepped on the try me button. I thought I broke it. I was so scared. Happy Halloween, my little ghoul. I'm a little sort of ghoul! Oh my god, this is beautiful! Oh, I gotta show Tori Dabransky. Oh my gosh, are you ready to see your surprise? Oh, look at him all of his glory! I love him! Oh, Whoa! Whoa! Hey, should I be jealous? I see all your tricks from way up high. Ooh, you are very tall, Lewis. Tall to Bransk! I do like tall pumpkin people. I am not a Lewis is very cute. Are you Bobby. ready for me to take him apart? No! More scary? Leave Lewis alone! Lewis. Wow. This is nice. I feel like I should be jealous. Can you give us some room, Robbie? Wow. Like, I need some body time. Okay. You're probably thinking, how the heck are you gonna improve this? This absolutely beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous man. Oh my gosh, so tall and handsome. So one thing I gotta say is he doesn't move. There's literally nothing on this guy that moves. So that's something I think I can do. Lewis absolutely deserves to move. Hey, Lewis, I got you a friend. Just kidding, she's not like a friend. She's more like, um... A donor, an organ donor. Well, a whole skeleton donor. Oh, yes, good old Darling Dolly. They're about the same size. He's a little bit taller. Well, you know, that's fine. Here, let me show you what Darling Dolly can do. That's pretty terrifying, right? So I essentially have to take her apart. Oh, God. So I'm gonna essentially take everything off of this one and then put everything from Lewis onto her. It seems simple enough. I think they'll fit into each other's clothes, right? Dismantling it. Hopefully I don't break it. Oh! oh he just so zips. Here we go. Take your arms off. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Boop, boop, boop. It's not so scary now, is she? Oh, I see. Part of it was the sensor that was in her dress, so I gotta cut that out, I guess. That's easy enough. And now the photo sensor is free. Now I basically gotta take apart Lewis and put him onto this sketch. I don't think that'll be too hard. Just do the same thing that I did before with the opposite, I suppose. You really skipped leg day, didn't you? So I'm essentially unplugging all these connectors that kind of go A to A, B to B, C to C. Pretty self-explanatory. Just unconnecting all these, and then I'm probably gonna end up reconnecting them when it's on this. It's time to take the rest of your toes off, Lewis. I have a pretty good feeling about this. Definitely a little snug on him. So the fit seems to fit. Fit. <laughs> the fit's fitting. The fit is fitting. The fit fits. If the fit fits, then the fit fits. I'm probably gonna recycle Darling Dolly's arms as well. Oh, they're only zip tied on. Clip that zip tie. Comes right off. It does kind of look spookier with her hands though. Okay, I'm just trying to get a peek in that. Interesting. Here we go. Very nice, very nice. The other armhole. I pulled the cloth up a little bit, and there's like this hunchback thing that takes up a lot of. Them. So I think if I take this off, then it should make it easier for him to just go forward. You know what I'm saying? So one thing I noticed is when I took the weird round hula hoop thing off, he basically has no girth to it. Like there's no shape. But in the old one, there was still kind of at least a little bit of a shape. So what I think I'm gonna do is take Lewis's little shapely thing off and put it on here so he still at least has shoulders. So lucky for me, it looks like it's just kind of bolted on and I can just take it off with some tools. That came right off, perfect. Now unlucky for me, these are riveted on. And I really don't want to touch any rivets. And I can't just slide it on because it'll stop right there, but I want it on the shoulder. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is cut this section right here. Boobity boop. Ah oh, yes, just what I needed. And that'll just pop right on. Perfect. And that should just slide right on. It also won't hit this pipe when it falls, which, uh, you know, wasn't intended, but 
I'll work with it, okay? Now I just have to drill in the holes to make this guy stay on. Oh, yes, much better. He has some shoulder pads now. Very good, Lewis. And I even used the original screw. I also ended up putting back the original bottom loop that came with Darling Dolly. Now I have to figure out how I'm gonna mount his head back on. So I'm looking at this, and it's just kind of like a pole, and it has a little clip button on the side to keep it in place. And this is what I got. But there is a square pipe that I think if I cut this pipe off, it'll slide perfectly into but it. But unfortunately, Lewis will never be the same again, so. I think it's worth it. I really don't want to accidentally cut this little wire off right here, so I'm just gonna take this whole piece off. Boopity boop. There we go. Put that off to the side for now. Hey, Lewis, are you ready for your head? Boom. Wow, guys, look at that. Already such a drastic improvement. Look how much more spooky he is. I also want to take the voice slash control box and put it into the other one as well. Pretty easy, just gotta unscrew this guy. Easy peasy. So the other box, which I'll still be using, uh, is mounted right here on him right so now. So I have to basically just make sure that the speaker is facing forward. And I can kind of mount this anywhere, really. And I'm just zip tying it on with black zip ties. I'm so glad that you guys can see this so well. I'm also using black duct tape on it. Yeah, I think that ought to hold it in place. And I'm gonna basically plug all this in. Oh my god! But you know what? I think that I could make him even scarier. I think I'm gonna start out with his hands and arms. Oh yes, Lewis's arm. It looks like a little chicken wing. So I think the first thing I want to do is remove this black netting because I actually want to use this. Hot glued it on, so I gotta be a little careful. Or just rip it off. That's probably the method I'm gonna use. Put this off to the side for now. And then this, whatever fabric it is, is cool. But I think it would look even better if I wrapped it in burlap. I did that with the Spirit Halloween mask a while ago. I just basically rewrapped it in burlap. But I love how freaking gruesome it looks. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna basically recreate this look. And I'm just gonna put this guy right on his arm. Ooh, I can even just shove part of it onto this pole. That'll help a little bit. And we're just gonna hot glue this bad boy on. I'm also gonna cut the burlap out to kind of match his fingers. Okay, now that I got his hands completely covered, now I'm gonna texturize it a little bit with some paint. Oh uh, yes, yeah, some red fabric paint should do great. Oh yeah, it's a little bit of red. And just a tiny, tiny bit of black. I'm just gonna go and mix a little bit of that together. Oh yes, yeah, so that looks nice. Yeah, just paint it on. That's pretty good. Put some fake blood in there. I'm gonna make sure to get some uh, Lewis's fingertips. He has some bloody fingers there, buddy. Almost make it look like he grabbed something and it's bloody. Ooh, there we go. It almost looks like a bloody tree trunk. I think I'm also gonna go in and kind of like maybe distress some of the other stuff. Put a little bit of random black. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that looks so creepy. But you know what would make it look even better? If you said latex, you'd be correct. A little bit of latex to really just put everything in place, make everything look extra gross. I'm also just kind of distressing all the fibers to make it look extra creepy. And then remember our black veil? We're gonna go ahead and put that right back on. I'm just gonna put a little bit more latex on the veil to just keep it on. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. <gasps> no! I spilled so much latex right now. Oh my gosh. I'm also going through the arms and just adding some hot glue to that. And some spray paint to just texturize everything. I think I'm gonna distress a little bit of uh, these guys too. I also got him some rope to put around his waist instead of whatever this is. So I think I'm gonna just distress that a little bit too. But right now I think I'm gonna start working on his face. So my goal is to make this man spooky dookie. And I have a little bit of experience making like uh, spooky fake pumpkins like this. Like Mr. Tory too over here. Isn't he spooky dookie? You're still in your goggles. You did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna go in and cut all this jack-o'-lantern mouth. Oh yes, that's much better. I also kind of wanted to carve out his eyes and his little nose as well, so might as well do that. We now have a proper shell of Lewis. I think the first thing I want to do with his eyes is actually give him proper eyes. And I also want to use this mouth too. So I'm actually taking the Spirit Halloween mask. I'm pretty sure I got it from Spirit Halloween. If not, I got it from Amazon. And I'm gonna cut out the eyes, put them onto Lewis. But I'm also gonna use these realistic looking little plastic eyeballs and put them inside of his eye sockets. I just have to carefully cut out this guy's face. Ooh, oh yeah, that's gonna work. I just have to carefully hold this up while it's drying. This is what I want to avoid, holding it up. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. I'm just gonna grab another little chunk of this mask. So I went in and I put the little netting behind it. That way, I can just pop the eyes in. Now I just have to go over and do the other one. I wonder if this guy's nose will fit in there. Well, only one way to find out, I guess. Oh! Hashtag nose for Lewis. Oh God, this is hot. Oh God, I will hold on to your nose, Lewis. I'll do it for you. So his eyes and nose turned out pretty horrid. Now it's time to work on his mouth. Just carve a little hand hole for myself right here. Okay, just go ahead and shove that in there. See on the other side, Lewis's teeth. I think that is the move. Now, did I account for the hot glue gun being able to fit? Good, good, perfect. 
Very good. Oh my gosh. It's funny because I've been at the dentist all day and they've been working on my teeth. I'm working on Lewis's teeth. How the tables have turned. Yep. Just gotta keep going section by section, I guess. And it looks like I don't have any matching ones, but I have the slush creature teeth. They're definitely way bigger teeth. And I'm just gonna hope for the best, you know? Okay, so the bigger teeth do kind of look a little weird there, but you know, I think that's fine. Maybe I'll add like an extra couple big teeth over here, maybe. I have a whole nother one of these masks that I actually did plan on cutting up. Okay, so far, Lewis is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna paint all the teeth to kind of match a little bit, and then I'm gonna paint all the gums and everything to make it look all blood. Okay, guys, and this is how Lewis turned out with his brand new teeth. He's looking absolutely fantastic. Now I'm gonna do what I do best and add latex to this man. And then I'm just gonna put it all over the rest of him. Okay, now we just gotta wait for Lewis to dry for a little bit. And now we just had to put on his head. Haha! -ha. Guys, I think we're all ready to show the new and improved Lewis and Tori to Branson. But she's a very, very deep sleeper. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely set up Lewis how I want him. over Tori Dobransky while she's sleeping. And then I'll plug everything in and she'll just wake up to her big surprise. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> 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 Tori, check it out. I haven't set up the smoke machine in here for you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Go look at him in all of his glory. <laughs> I don't want to now. But why? Is that suspicious, Robbie? <laughs> Even Thomas is sussed out. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No! No, look at him! <laughs> oh my god! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so scary! Isn't that something to wake up to? That is something to wake up to. That's pretty spooky. You're just gonna leave him here? I'm gonna leave him here so you can see. I'm gonna put him on this side. I'm gonna go work. You up to him. I'm gonna go work on some other stuff now. No, you um, have to move Lewis. I'm not moving Lewis. He's standing here. He lives with us now. POV, ready? Oh my God! What is that? Ah! Oh, I am reborn. Ah! Help me! Okay, stop it. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Tori Dobransky. And today, I'm having Tori Dobransky pick out my Halloween costumes. How many can I pick out, Robbie? You can pick out 10 costumes. Let's go. Hey, this is already Robbie. Costume one secured. <gasps> I see some more. So I think I'm gonna go with this Garfield costume. Oh my God. This one screams Robbie to me. He always wears these shirts, but he doesn't have any matching pants. Mm -hmm. I think I'm also going to get Robbie a Ken outfit. So then we could be Barbie and Ken. <gasps> I might have to pick out 12 costumes. He may have to also be oh, hello, Shrek. Man. Because how can you say no to Shrek? You'd be proud of me that I picked out Shrek. <laughs> now time to go check out. Let's go. <gasps> There's Tori Dobransky. Hi, Robbie. Don't look. These are surprises. surprise. Okay. Wait, am I walking home? Yes. Oh, man, not again. She always does this. <laughs> I'm excited to see what costumes you picked out for me this year. I'm excited for you to try them on. I picked out some pretty funny ones, not gonna lie. Which one do you want me to try on first? Um, wait, I already know. I wanna start you off with something that you will feel comfortable in. That way it's not just like jarring out of the box. So I got you your own prison outfit. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's such a big change. No, 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 it's not a big change. This is what you normally wear, but this time you're gonna put on pants that match it. Ah! Guys, can you believe this? She literally gave me my outfit that I'm already wearing. I just want you to feel at home. I don't want you to be spooked or anything. I guess it also has a little number on it. Um, so I, I guess it's- And a little hat. Oh, I get a little hat? You get a little hat. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that is way different. I didn't realize you got me two costumes, Tori Dabransky, and one. Spirit Halloween branded pants. Wow. And to top it off. Okay. Here's your needle hat. <sighs> Do you feel like the new man? No. <laughs> Do you feel like the exact same man you were before you put this costume on? I feel a little bit more imprisoned. 
That's not good. What would you give this costume out of 10, Robbie? Oh, uh, for creativity, I would give this a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Completely original. Never seen anything like this costume Okay, before. we'll do a little switcheroon. What am I wearing, Torta Brand? I want you to wear... So this is gonna be <laughs> Nick's costume. I had to get it because I thought it was so cute and I really want to see him in this. My, oh, I was not, ex no, don't look. I wasn't expecting to have him to wear these, so uh, I'm kind of regretting my decisions a little bit, but I think this one will be really funny. Here, Rob, you want to see your next costume? What is it, what is it? Oh, I always wanted one of these. Now you have it. Let's do a little swoosh around here, come on. <laughs> wow, Tori to Brands. I'm a big buff baby. <laughs> is this good? I don't know if I like it, honestly. You're kind of scary. So do you like my little outfit now? Now I'm the prisoner. Mm, hello, my little prisoner. I don't like the fact that you're a giant baby. <laughs> what? Do you think I'm hot? <laughs> oh my god, Robbie, please get up. My first steps. Oh god! Oh, oh! Okay, out of 10 pacifiers, what would you give this costume? I would give this costume out of 10 pacifiers. It's clearly a 10 out of 10 as well. So far, all 10s, that's pretty good. Okay, I'll go pick out your next costume. Okay, Robbie, are you ready for your next costume? Yes. Here's your next one. Oh! What is it? Oh! I'm about to show some freaking Ken energy, aren't I? Are you ready? Yes. I'm just Ken. Wait, you are Ken. And you're a giant baby. I'm a baby now. I'm gonna go out and actually work out in this. Can you see me running down the street like this? I can. I, I, you are high invisible running down the street like that. No cars will hit you. What about me, Robbie? Can you see me running down the street in this? Do you wanna go for a jog right now? No, not really. I don't wanna jog. But you're in a giant air conditioned suit. That is true. I do feel very air conditioned right now. But I feel like if I go outside, it's just gonna suck up all the hot air <laughs> and make it not air conditioned anymore. It's gonna be like a giant heat suit. So what would you rate out of 10 Kens? What would you give your outfit, Robbie? It didn't come with a fanny pack, so I'm gonna have to deduct some points from that. That's fair, that's fair. They made you buy it separately. What? Yeah. Boo! Anyway, that's fine. I'm gonna have to give this a 8 out of 10. This might actually be my brand new look. Oh yeah? Are you rating it lower than the other ones? You have to be fair, you can't just give it a 10 out of 10 every single time. Well, the 10 out of 10 was my everyday look. Okay, want me to pick out your next costume? Yeah. So if you don't know, I love cats, so I decided to take this opportunity to turn my boyfriend into a giant cat. Robbie, do you know what cat you're gonna be? Do you gotta take a guess? Is it Thomas? It is not Thomas, what? but... What? I'm not becoming Thomas! Okay, you ready? Throw it at me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready to catch anything like that! <laughs> Wait, so I'm gonna be the big lasagna? You are gonna be the big lasagna! Woo! Oh boy, I'm now... Do you feel hungry for lasagna? I want some lasagna! Robbie, what do you think about Mondays? Oh, I hate Mondays. So how do you like your costume, Robbie? This is beautiful. I think this is actually my everyday look. <laughs> You're just gonna become <laughs> Garfield? I am Garfield. I'll see you later, I gotta go. It's so uh -oh. funny, because when you walk backwards, oh no! I might have second thoughts about everyday look, actually. I'll just help you push your head down. Don't you want to hug this big old cat? No! Get over here. I no, 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 no. You're a pretty cute little emo can. I bet you get all the Barbies. I get all the Barbies. What would you rate this costume out of 10 lasagna? Tori, you really know me so well. I just want to give all these a 10. <laughs> so for no misses, all of them are really good. For continuity, I'll give it a nine. Okay, that's that's fine. I'll, I'll accept a nine. How do you feel? I can't see very well. I can only see in the two little eye holes. I don't know if you can, can you see me in here. This is the extent of my vision. <laughs> and whenever I do this, the eye holes move, so I'm just kind of getting little pieces. If I do this really fast, I can see so much oh better. God, you're breaking the costume. What? The thing fell off the back. Oh no! Let me play it! Let me play it! No! No! It's melting! No! 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 It's melting, Okay, so for the next costume, I went ahead and get and picked another movie costume. But this time, I picked out a Shrek costume for him. Okay, Robbie, you ready? Here's the next costume. Oh, I get to be Shrek! I get to be Shrek. I get to be Shrek! Look how freaking handsome that is! Shrek transition! Oh, oh my gosh. I suddenly have layers. What do you think? Does that make you lasagna, Robbie? Lasagna has layers. <laughs> I love lasagna. No! Are you gonna eat me? No! No, Garfield! No, stop it! I'm an onion, not a lasagna! 
Ogres are like onions. They stink? Yes. No. Guys, I went a little too hard and I accidentally broke my little ear flap. Yeah. It's okay, I can fix it maybe. Good as new. <laughs> it's only falling off a little bit now. <laughs> Walter Bransk, what would you rate my costume? I can't barely see your costume. I would give your costume probably a 9 out of 10 onions. Ooh. It would get 10 out of 10 if your little ears didn't break immediately. That's fair. Oh What's my the next God, costume I'm gonna have to pick out one like this. Yeah, pick it out. You got it. I'm not even looking. I can see you, Robbie. <laughs> okay, so for the next costume, I decided to stick with the green theme. And my God, I'm a frog. Because I feel like they live in swamps, if anything. So are you ready, Robbie? Yes. From one swamp to another. It also has a little face hole, so then you can actually see. Oh my gosh, this is gonna change the game. Oh my gosh, I'm Yoshi. You're, you're a frog, Robbie. Oh. You look like a beautiful tree frog, but all the lady frogs are so interested. This really makes me want to go climb a tree right now. I think it would just pop it as soon as you started climbing. <laughs> oh, I look so sad. One of my ears is just pointing down. Out of 10 flies, what would you give this costume? It's a little harder to wear than the other ones, I'm not gonna lie. Visibility is a little bit better though. Yeah, you can actually see <laughs> and breathe fresh air. I'm gonna have to give this uh, probably seven out of 10. Ooh, seven out of 10 flies, it's pretty good. Okay, so the next costume I got is, it kind of goes along with this one as well. I decided to go ahead and try a child's, are you okay, Robbie? You're like gonna take down the wall soon. I'm doing great. I decided to try a child's costume and I got him this one. This is a costume he's been wanting for such a long time and I think he's really going to appreciate this costume. I don't know why, but I feel like frogs would like this. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Hey, Robbie, you ready? Uh, what is it? You know what, I'll just put it on. Uh, oh, I wonder what I I'm a pizza! Woo! Sorry to brisk, I've always wanted to be a pizza. Ah, my foot's broken. <laughs> this is really a good costume for a brand. I'm glad it fits you. It's a, it was a children's costume. <laughs> out of 10 toppings, what would you give this? Mm, nine out of every 10 Robbies gives this pizza costume a nine out of 10. Woo! This is the next costume. It's a classic Halloween costume. You look really scary, don't you? <laughs> Want to see your next costume? Yes, let me see this costume. <laughs> Five minutes later. It's okay, we've come to an understanding. He's no longer kidnapping me. Now but... he's just holding you like a baby. It's like you guys are dancing. Oh my god, you can do the little Titanic scene with the alien. I'm flying, alien! Family photo! Aww. Look at the camera, alien. Yeah, there you go. Aww. What a good guy. Honestly, 10 out of 10. It has a real functioning pocket. And you can keep your phone in it. Most girl pants don't even have that. But this Halloween costume does. <laughs> Spirit Halloween, you're really up in your game and costume. Multifunctional? Oh, 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 God. Now, now you're just hugging him. Your feet are backwards now on your body, but that's okay. Yes, I need to work on it. The alien's absorbing him. Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm stuck. My ass is in my foot leg. Anyway, what were you saying? He's just chilling, don't worry about him. A little broken now. That's not a good sound. That's fine. Just a little broken, but that, that's I broke okay. it a little bit. Out of 10 cows, what would you give this outfit? Um, honestly, it's a little broken, but I feel like that was kind of um, <laughs> a user error. <laughs> Other than that, honestly, eight and a half cows. Eight and a half cows? Maybe nine and a half. Ooh, nine and a half cows, that's a lot of cows. Why half a cow? What half of a cow, the head half or the butt half? Uh, Important questions. The head half. That's pretty good, pretty good. So for the next costume, I went ahead and picked out one I thought Robbie would actually kind of like. And it's this one. This is one of his favorite uh, characters, just across the board. So I thought that he would look really cute in it and it would match his hair. Oh my God, do you feel at home, Robbie? Yes, we're both aliens now. I mean, you're being abducted by two aliens now. No. Having a rough time surviving us. I really like this costume. Look, the ears stay straight up. They're you know, pretty cute. There's no putting these ears down. They look very cute though, Rabbi. Do you like it? This I, could be just like a everyday onesie, you know? It really can. I might wear this all the time now. You just become sick. Wow. Out of 10 surfboards, what would you give this? I'm gonna hang 10 on this one. She just knows me so well. I, I thought this one out of 
all of them would be the one that you liked. I feel like Spirit Halloween is actually like genuinely like up their quality too, right? Mm -hmm. No, it looks so good. I couldn't um, in good faith not pick out this costume because this is probably the original inflatable costume. That may be a spirit animal, but this, this is who he is on the inside. <laughs> Honestly, Spirit Halloween, you should just pay me to like be out in front of Spirit <laughs> Halloween to do this. Put a Spirit Halloween logo on my chest. Come on, come on, this way, go on that way, yeah, come on. Is this your new uncle? He has left ah. the building. Ah, who are you? <laughs> he is no longer with ah. us. Oh no, you're ah. ah. The world's trying to kill me. It's Bruh. hard being wacky, wavy, inflatable arm man, isn't it? You look pretty cool, though. This is a really fantastic costume. Out of 10 amazingly great deals, what would you give this? You know what? I'm gonna have to give this one also a 10 out of 10! Dude, we're getting nothing but 10s this time. You know why? They're all great. It also has a pocket! Ooh. Even Wibbly Wobbly Inflatable Arm Man has a pocket! It's a big pocket. Here, put your hand in. Ooh, if it's my entire hand, it's a pretty good pocket. Step on over. If you come with me, yeah. we can give you all sorts of pockets. Yeah? What type of pockets? You have pockets. You get pockets. I do have pockets. Oh, you get pockets. You get pockets. Come on, two pockets on sale. Are you ready for your next costume? Yeah. So for the next costume, I think I picked out one from Ro one of Robbie's not favorite movies, but a movie that he really liked. And he's gonna be Buddy the Elf. Oh, oh my God! I'm Peter Pan. I'm oh, never gonna grow up. You're not Peter Pan. You're Buddy the Elf. I'm my favorite Will Ferrell movie. <laughs> I think we need more inflatable wiggly arm man. Just get a team of them. All of us running down the street and these. Out of 10 Christmas presents, what would you give that? I would give this maybe like a seven and a half out of 10. The boots kind of are a little low quality, but you know, I wear $600 boots, so. What is that? Why is my toe so flappy? I can't stub my toe against an anvil. I'm gonna drop an anvil on it right now. We're gonna test it, you ready? Drop it on my foot, should I do it? Yeah! I'm not doing it. Oh. Why do you only like my pain? So for the next costume, I picked another movie costume and I decided to go with Willy Wonka. I just think he's cute and I'm excited for the new movie. What was that? What? what? How do I look? Do you look like Willy Wonka? Do you feel like Willy Wonka? Yes. Yeah? What does feeling like Willy Wonka mean to you? I'm feeling like I can give away some golden tickets. Can I have one? Here's your golden ticket. <laughs> to work in my factory! What? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, please! I don't want to be an Oompa <laughs> I just want a little golden ticket! No! No! <laughs> on you so hard, Willy Wonka. You're getting nothing for I Christmas. I don't care! I have a whole chocolate factory! Yeah, but don't you want Christmas presents? Don't I'm telling Santa you're gonna don't. get in so much trouble. Ah! It's okay, Willy Wonka. I won't tell Santa. I was just fibbing. Thank you. I was just telling, telling jokes. Thank you. Out of 10 chocolate bars, what do you give this beautiful costume? I think I'm gonna give this a seven. Ooh, why a seven? It's pretty good quality, but it didn't come with a shirt. There's no shirt to be seen. Even the hat feels pretty decent quality. It's very fabric. Okay, no, yeah, this is perfect now. I'm raising it to an eight. Ooh, eight out of 10 chocolate bars. So for the next costume, this is actually a costume Robbie has been looking for actively. Originally he wanted me to like make this for him, but it was just way too hard. So I just decided just to Grab him one of these. It is a child's costume, so there's a chance it might not fit. But are you ready, Robbie? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's a costume, Robbie. It's a costume. Oh, <laughs> it's not nightmare fuel at all. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Oh, 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 oh. Dory, he ate me. Oh, you okay. he ate me. Help me. I'm getting stuck in him. Oh, 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 oh. I am Huggy Wuggy. You are Huggy Wuggy. I thought it was supposed to be him eating me, so it's more like this. Yeah. And my mouth is his mouth. Oh. You are Huggy Wuggy. I see now. You don't see now. I'm Huggy Wuggy. How do you like me now, little Wonka boy? I like you a lot less hey. than I liked you a little bit ago. You look a little scary. Well, Huggy Wuggy, do you want to come to my chocolate factory? Oh, yes. Here you go. This is a fun little costume. I mean, the head is a little lackluster compared to the giant mask that I made. That is true, true. Your head is a lot 
bigger than this one is. It was a child's costume, <laughs> but that it was the biggest size that they had. Look how short the legs are. And that's how it's supposed to be. Don't don't mind that. Out of ten hugs, I would give it seven wugs. Ooh, that's a lot of wugs. Seven wugs out of the hugs. That's pretty good. Okay, are you ready for your final costume? Yes. Okay. It's the final costume. <laughs> Is this how you do it? Oh wait, no, it's the other way, like this? How do the kids do it nowadays? Uh, I don't even know what, like, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay, so for the last costume, this one really just spoke to me. When I looked at it, I saw Robbie. And it's like the Black Couples costume. So, I hope he likes this one. Oh my gosh! I'm thing one. I'm thing two. You're, you're still No, you're I'm thing wuggy? two. You're huggy wuggy? <laughs> I want to be thing two. It says thing one and thing two costume in here, but it only came with one jumpsuit. But it came with two stickers. I can pretend to be thing two. Ah, yes, the classic <laughs> thing one and thing two. This is what they look like in the book, right? I like the hair, but I didn't even need the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to wear this hair? Will that make you feel better? <laughs> you Maybe you? a little bit. Oh, just. I don't know what you would want me to do here. Go. <laughs> on this? Oh, you want me to on top of Huggy Wuggy? <laughs> okay. This is a perfect thing to a costume. There we go. Yeah? Oh, yes. Classic, classic. What would you give your outfit? I would give this out of 10 things. Honestly, I'm going to give it two things. I'm going to only give it two because it only came with one costume. I'm just kidding. I'm probably going to have to give this costume a solid six and a half out of 10. I wish it came with at least one more jumpsuit because I wanted to be thing one and thing two with you. Well, Tori Dabrowski, I think you did a fantastic job picking out all my costumes. Yeah, which one was your favorite? Oh, out of all of them? Out of all of them. Oh my god, I feel like one second. Let me look through all of them really quick. Um, I think it's between these two. Those two are pretty good. The, I think that one's my favorite that I got you. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. I love him, he's so cute. Well, I'm glad you like the costumes I picked out for you. Which one do you guys think I should wear for Halloween? Let me know down in the comments down below and I might just actually wear it. Ooh, drama. If you guys want to check out Tori Dabransky's video that we actually made over on her channel uh, where I pick out her costumes, <gasps> make sure to click the video right here. Click it or Huggy Wuggy and Thing One's gonna haunt your dreams. Ah! No! Ah, 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 ah! Scary make of a blood and lots of fun. It's craft a wee. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Mm -hmm. My name is Robbie. And where are we guys? And today, I'm gonna to be repainting these cheap Five Nights at Freddy's masks to make them look better. They could definitely use a little bit of work. And I think I'm also gonna try and make them more scary as well. So first up, let's go with Freddy. Okay, good old Freddy. This is an official Five Nights at Freddy's mask, but it could definitely be improved. So what I think I'm gonna do is make him into Nightmare Freddy. I've been trying to do my research and there really aren't a lot of super clear photos of Nightmare Freddy, but I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. So first step of making this into this. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut his whole mouth in half. It is a little bit rough, but you know what? I think uh, I think I can I can make this work. I'm also going to cut the bottom of his jaw. Now he's a toothless Freddy. Not so scary now, is he? Now I know what you're thinking. Robbie, what are you going to do for his teeth? I actually bought a bunch of these acrylic nails, which are really easy to use for teeth. So looking at Nightmare Freddy, he actually has two rows of teeth. But there's only one thing for me to really put this on. So I was thinking, how can I make him have two rows of teeth? I decided to eat some lunch and think about it. And then I was just staring at the answer. A pie tin. I'm so glad I ate lunch before this, because otherwise I wouldn't have this pie tin. I'm basically going to cut the pie tin and then glue it to the inside of the mouth. Now it'll fold in a little bit. Okay. Okay, maybe cut this part off. That fits pretty nicely, actually. So now I just have to kind of form fit it a little bit and then glue it in place. I'm also gonna leave kind of like a little bit of this showing because it kind of looks like metallic gums and I kind of dig that. Dang, Freddy, you got some grills. You're bare grills. <laughs> I have to make sure that the hot glue gun isn't too hot because I know that this plastic mask is probably gonna freaking melt. Oh yeah, it's already starting to melt. Gotta be really careful. Ah! Oh, okay, yeah, that's kind of promising. I'm actually gonna curve it in a little bit. Yeah, I definitely think that'll work. Then I'm also gonna do the same thing to the bottom piece. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Look at his new grills. I'm gonna see if I can get these nails to stick. I'm gonna do that by grabbing a little exacto knife. I'm just kind of making a little incision. And, oh yeah, I think that'll do. That's perfect. So now that I know that that's gonna work, I'm gonna start painting these teeth. That should be more than enough, hopefully. Now it's time to paint these guys. I got this fun white acrylic paint, and I think it's gonna be perfect for it. It's just a very shiny white. That is if I can even get it to stick onto this nail. Okay, those are all painted white. Now I'm gonna go in with some red paint. And I'm gonna take this really, really coarse brush, make little tiny red dots at the bottom to kind of like match how it looks in the video game. And I just gotta do that with all of them. So these turned out pretty good. I think they're all ready for me to start putting them inside of his face. Hmm, boobity boop. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue it into place on the bottom. And then we go on to the next one. One tooth at a time. Two litty tooth. Now I'm just gonna do that with his entire bottom row of teeth. And then I'm gonna do the inside row. The bottom jaw with the teeth is now complete. Ooh, this is looking pretty good so far. Now I just have to do the same thing with the top. Ho oh, ho, I'm liking this so far. Oh yeah, so we are done with that part. That looks quite terrifying, not gonna lie. So there's a few more improvements I'm noticing that I could do on Nightmare Freddy. Another thing is his ears are kind of held on by like a spring, and he also has some like metallic pieces peeking out of his face. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut his ear off, round that out a little bit, and then eventually I think I'm gonna use one of these springs to make it so that his ear is just kinda out like that. Boing. I think I'll do his ears right now. Then I carefully hot glue these bad boys on. Now I just gotta reattach him to his head. So he's looking pretty good with his big old goofy ears. But I think the next thing I'm gonna do is fully paint in his eyes and then maybe give him some like scary like metal battle damage. You know what I'm saying? Might try and glue some of these on I think. Looks like he has a couple like big gouges in his eye, like coming out of his eye. So maybe try something like that. Just gonna form fit it. I think I also kind of want to use this like around his eyes. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm liking how that's looking so far. I think I'm gonna go in and uh, blacken the eyes. That way he doesn't have any of the white. Oh yes, that looks about 60% more spooky, I'd have to say. Now that that's done, I'm gonna insert his weird metal eye things. So I added some more of the pie tin to his face to kind of make it look like some metal was popping out. Now I think I'm gonna attempt to try and attach his uh, his head to the lower part of his head. I think I don't want the back of his mouth showing through. So I'm probably gonna use a little bit more of this pie tin and just glue that together and maybe use like a little spring to reinforce it. Hopefully that works. If not, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. It's not bad so far. Honestly, the bottom of the jaw, very terrifying. So far, I think I'm doing a pretty good job on this. I'm gonna carefully put this together. Wow, that's pretty freaking scary, not gonna lie. Ah oh, yes, no one will know that this is a pie tin, except for you guys, because I told you guys. And maybe people who look at this and are like, is that a pie tin? Basically, I think that should cover everyone, but there's another thing I wanted to do, and that is give this guy some fur. My friend Allie made a video where she made an entire piano velvet, and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be perfect. So what she did was she put like an adhesive on the piano, and then use something called flocking. Now, I tried to buy all the right stuff, okay? I bought the flocking, which is like the, the powdery um, fur stuff. I bought the flocking gun. I even bought the suede undercoat. But when I opened this up, I noticed it said cardinal, and this is actually red paint. I can't really use red, I need brown, because he's a... He's a brown bear. So, what I did was, I tried just using some brown acrylic paint on this piece of Freddy's mouth, and then I started using the flocking on it, and it looks like everything seems to stay on. It's a little powdery, but like, I think it'll be good enough. So I'm gonna go in and uh, paint all this brown, and then I'm gonna flock it. And then, we'll have a nice, soft, brown, fuzzy bear. Gonna go ahead and mask this off really quick. Go ahead and paint him up. Now we're gonna try flocking this guy. Oh yes, and this is how it turned out. I'm gonna carefully unmask it. Hopefully it doesn't mess up everything I just did. Okay, yeah, that's turning out pretty good. I think it's gonna be a lot better once it dries. So right now it's a little clumpy. It doesn't look super, super great, but he is a very disheveled bear, so it's fine. I'll properly learn how to flock at one point, and uh, you know, <laughs> I'll do this correct, but it doesn't have to look great right now. Next, I think I'm gonna start doing the darker brown part. <laughs> 
So it's looking a little thin, so I'm actually going in and adding another layer of paint to what I just felted. That way, it's extra thick, you know what I mean? It's just, when you feel it, it's really felt. <laughs> you're really gonna feel this felt. <laughs> you're gonna feel this felt like you've never felt it before. <laughs> Anyway, he's gonna do this and then flock it again. We're gonna felt it, we're gonna flock it, we're gonna felt it. <laughs> That's looking pretty solid. There's a couple places I could definitely touch up, like here. And also, his nose ended up becoming the same color as his head. I think I'm just gonna paint the nose and see how it turns out if you just paint onto felt. I'm hoping it still just turns out like felt, you know? I just don't have the correct color in airbrush. Otherwise, I would use an airbrush for this. Because I know you can airbrush felt and it turns out okay. Okay, but I don't know how it would turn out if you painted felt. So we're about to find out. And yeah, that's turning out pretty fantastic. Now I think the last thing I really gotta do is this little top hat, which shouldn't be hard, you know? It's just all black. But I do have to mask everything off that I don't want to become black. I'm also wearing a mask the entire time that I'm doing this because I really don't wanna get uh, all this stuff in my lungs. And he's looking absolutely fantastically terrible. I love it. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more blood and details in the teeth. For this, I'm just gonna use my hands and just, you know, make it look like he's really just gotten in there and just mauled somebody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's pretty scary. No! Okay, I kinda like that actually. I messed up at first, but you know, I fixed it. As Bob Ross once said, there are no accidents, only happy mistakes. Happy little accidents, happy little trees. Still little blood splatters, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that looks pretty dang good. I'm also gonna add a little bit of bloody scab, or as I like to call it, Lingaberry jam. Just add that jam right into his, just jam that jam into his mouth. He's gonna love this jam. He's like, mmm, this will go great with honey. Honey and jam. I'm gonna put all this jam on my toast. See, Freddy isn't that scary of a guy, see? He's just a, he's a little frazzled frazzle bear, you know what I'm saying? That is looking absolutely frightening. And I think the last thing I'm gonna do is add these glowing eyes. Don't mind me, Freddy, I'm just giving you sight, my boy. I'm giving you sentience and sight and maybe a little bit of peace of mind. Who knows? I don't know who I'm giving peace of mind, but definitely not myself. This is terrifying. Oh yes, yeah, st just stick those eyes right on in there. How are we looking? Oh my God, that is horrid. <laughs> Holy crap! I am very impressed with myself with this one. Now let's turn on the lights. We got some glowing Freddy Frazbear eyes. And now I think that this mask is complete. Look how crazy of a transformation that was. Now that's what I call a Halloween mask. Ah oh, yes, up next is Mr. Blue Bonnie. There's definitely a lot of improvement that can be done here. His teeth, definitely. Also, his ears, they need to be long, but not too long and floppy, and then I have to make the entire thing very scary, like Nightmare Body, which I think I can do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with what I did last time and just cut his mouth parts out. Oh yes, that ought to do it. Next, I think I'm gonna lop off his ears. Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna take some of this foam and cut him out some ears. So I just have to figure out what would be the appropriate size for these ears. They actually close up like this. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go and take these metal zip ties, which I didn't even know was a thing, and just kind of uh, shove them up through the foam. I'm hoping that works really nicely. Shove it up through the next one. Boom, easy. That's looking about right. And it's fairly rigid. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put these on some parchment paper. And my goal is to eventually paint these. So I'm gonna try and put a little bit of latex on them because I don't think if I put paint on it, it would really stick to the foam very well. And this will sort of fix a lot of the texture problems that I wanna fix. Now I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit. And while that's drying, I'm gonna start working on this guy's mouth and teeth. And I think I'm gonna do it really similar to how I did Freddy's. Ah, oh, yes, it's really come together. Now I just have to put it together. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, this is looking pretty freaking good. Now I'm gonna take the ears and somehow attach them to his head. I'm thinking something like this. I'm just gonna glue the zip tie in place on the back and that should do it. Oh yeah, it's all clamped down. Hot glue this bad boy. Boing, 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 boing. Oh yeah, those are definitely on there now. And just like I did with Freddy, I'm gonna darken out his eyes and then we're all ready to start flocking this guy. I'm just gonna use the Sharpie. I don't even have to use a paintbrush, really. And now I'm all ready to flock this guy. Wow. I only did half the mask just so you could see what it looks like, but this is what it looks like before I put the felt on, and this is what it looks like after. It's pretty crazy. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna do the other half now. Now I just have to do the inside of this guy's ears. I think I'm also gonna paint his little snout with this metallic purple paint, just to make it sort of match the ears a little bit. Okay, so now I have to give him some battle damage. So for this, I think I'm gonna start drawing where I want just like giant chunks of his face being taken out. Now I'm gonna go in and start drilling out all these little details. There we go, he has a nice good chunk missing. Now I just gotta do that with all the other ones. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, that looks much more distressed. I almost think I don't even need to like replace it, but I think I'm gonna go in and add some like metal to some of the missing bits. I accidentally took way more off than I intended right here. The, the Dremel just went whoop and all of it came off. But other than that, like it's turning out pretty good. My goal is to have it end up looking like this. As you can see, there's already a little bit of metal kind of peeking through from where the pie tin is. And uh, that's kind of like the vibe I'm gonna go with for this. Oh uh, yes, that turned out pretty good. Might go in and kind of scratch it up a little bit. Ugh, that sound hurts my teeth. Uh. Now I just gotta do the same thing with the rest of it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do almost like the exact same thing, but I'm just gonna shove it in in some of the parts where I can't get to the other side. Okay, and this is how all of them turned out. I really like this method a lot more than the method that I did with Freddy where I just kind of took them and then glued them on. This just adds so much more texture and detail. And it doesn't show up super crazy on camera, but if I were to change something, I'd also maybe put a little bit of latex in the bloody part of Freddy's teeth. So I think I might do that for Bonnie here. I think I'm also gonna take maybe some of this paint and uh, add like some rust marks, but I'm also gonna mix that with some latex so it has a little bit of a thickening agent in it. I don't know. I'm just gonna go in and add just a little tiny bit. I might even just use my fingers. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, yes. Ah, 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 ah! I'm just kind of dipping my fingers in, and just kind of rubbing my hands where his teeth are. And I'm gonna put an extra bloody hole where all the metal things kind of come together. It's just a bloody, bloody hole. <laughs> Maybe go in and add some little details, and that should do it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but add some rust spots. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. Ooh, that looks rusty. Let's try that. I'm gonna use my finger to try and just smear it in. A little bit of paintbrush. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Just add that to a couple little spots. Wow, this turned out way, way better than the last one. And now the last thing to do is to add his eyeballs. Boom! Look at that. I am thoroughly impressed with myself. Look at all those details, and it really looks like it's an animatronic come to life that you just, you know, had to fight off, and now it just has battle damage. You know what I'm saying? This thing is so spooky. Wow. So yeah, guys, this is how they turned out. Oh my gosh. Very, very spooky. I am very impressed with myself, not gonna lie. I definitely think I progressively got better from Freddy to Bonnie, just in general. Pretty fantastic. Now I know what you're thinking. Robbie, can you actually wear them still? And uh, we're about to find out. I'm definitely not gonna be able to see into it, but uh, you know, that's fine. Okay, and uh, this is the best I can wear it. It looks very weird from the side, I'm sure. I don't know how it looks when you wear it. I'm sure it looks very terrifying. Ah! Yeah? Pretty spooky? What, what about Bonnie? Oh God. The eyes are literally poking me in the eyes. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I got felt in my mouth. Well, guys, I was gonna do Chica as well, but I didn't have the time this week, and I really wanted to give you guys this video. So if you guys want me to do even more FNAF masks, let me know down in the comments down below and give this video a big ol' thumbs up. That way I know you guys liked it. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And you guys seem to love the video where I repainted the cheap Five Nights at Freddy Spirit Halloween mask. So today, I'm gonna take an animatronic and turn it into Freddy Frazbear. And after looking over my giant collection of animatronics, I think that uh, Monty here would be the best choice. So he's just a little monkey standing on a box and he's just clapping his cymbals and he laughs and he has some glowing eyes. Pretty basic animatronic and now we're gonna take him apart and figure out how we're gonna make him into Freddy's. <laughs> He is now very, very bare bones. Aw, oh, yes. For the most part, this is what animatronics look like without their clothes on. Dang, you really skipped leg day, didn't you? So after taking him apart and seeing how he works, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is... Oh, hi, Robin! Toby, what do you want? I just wanted to tell you about my new album! That's cool, Toby, but I'm kind of busy right now. Can you, like, go hang out in the attic or something? Fine! I'll go in the attic! Thank you, Toby. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is modify his skeleton a little bit to uh, make him more Freddy Frazbear shape. Meanwhile, in the attic. Oh! At least I can work on my album now! What are you supposed to be, a talking apple? What are you? Well, I'm the man who's gonna change your life. All you gotta do is say my name three times and I'll get them out of here. What's your name? Well, let me tell you that. Beetlejuice? Yes, yes, now say it two more times. Oh, I need a second to think about Come on, it's just right there. You know, we can really get along, you and me. Uh... Meanwhile... Now, I think I'm gonna start building up his legs and stuff using a cool noodle and also maybe a little bit of thong. This is the first time I'm ever doing something like this, so uh, bear with me, guys. It'll probably fit right on his leg, honestly. Slide this right on. Oh, wow, that slides on so easy. Wow, so far, so good. I like it. Well, I'm at it. I might as well do the other side, you know? Before I get too far, I kind of want to put his feet on. So our boy Freddy, he has some major uh, cankle action going on. So I'm just gonna go and take this foam and cut it into these shapes. Now I'm gonna take some duct tape and kind of start shaping it a little bit. Okay, so the foam on the body is looking pretty good. Now it's time for me to start on the arms. But first I need to take the symbols off of this guy's hands. They're out of your hands now. Well, not yet, I have to unscrew them. There we go, now it's out of your hands. Just go ahead and take this old one off. Then we're gonna grab a pool noodle. This way it matches the thickness that we want. Boobity boop. And look at that, perfect. Okay, now the foam is complete. Where'd those scissors I was using go? Hey, Toby. Oh uh, yeah, what's up? So what do you think about my plan to steal all his scissors? <laughs> I think it's an absolutely fantastic idea! And if I know Robbie, he'll be all right. Where are my scissors? You take them. These ones are my fiskers and they're more expensive than normal scissors. My good pair. I wish you would have taken the much cheaper pair instead. Instead. As I scroll in the darkness, this craft of me. Some curious hacks died to be seen. Everything went according to plan, but I couldn't find scissors to cut paper hands. So I creeped and I crawled into Robbie's tonight and took all his scissors. Now his scissors are mine! <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it's a good thing I always have a spare in my back pocket. Now time to add the felt. So like we've been doing, I kind of want to start from the bottom and then work our way back to the top. First, we have to work on this guy's feet. Freddy has three toes, so what I think I'm going to do is uh, put a little notch between these two and then put fur all over it so it looks like he has three little toes. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, so far, I'm liking how the leg is looking. For his uh, joint parts where metal is exposed, I'm gonna use uh, the silver metal duct tape that I got from Walmart. Now I just have to do his other leg and the rest of his entire body. I'm pretty lazy, so I ended up just using these uh, safety pins to hold the fabric onto the animatronic. But you know what? I think it looks good enough from the front, so uh, we're just gonna continue with this. I never understood why Freddy's wearing a diaper, but you know, 
I made it in there anyway. <laughs> I ended up taking the top of the animatronic off, that way I can make a little hole in the fabric. And I think I'm gonna keep it off for now until I'm done with his diaper, and then I'll work my way up to his body. Okay, and this is how the body turned out. Just don't look at the backside. The backside looks really, really bad. Ah, yes, he's already starting to look like Freddy Frazbear, and I haven't even done anything. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is take off his hair. So now that we have a basic monkey man, I think I'm gonna take some of his facial features and move them around to make him look more like Freddy Fazbear. I think I'm gonna start by taking off this ear and moving it up here. So the ear is officially detached. Doesn't he look like Freddy Fazbear already? <laughs> Beautiful, great, fantastic. Now I'm gonna do the other ear. Okay, both the ears are successfully taken off. I'm gonna take some of these metal zip ties and sort of just bend them. Yeah, that's pretty solid. And I just have to mount this. I'm just gonna use my classic hot glue gun for this. Something like this should do okay. I'm gonna go and do the other ear. And now our ears are secured to the zip ties, which is fantastic. So this is how we're aiming for it to end up. Just bend the zip ties like this, and then just hot glue it straight to his head. And luckily he has this giant gaping hole where his ear was, so I can use a clamp to hold his ear off. Oh, uh, yes, that's pretty good. Now we just got a glue. That's looking about accurate to me. Next, I think I'm gonna go in and build up some of his muzzle right here. His nose kind of like protrudes right here, so I think I'm just gonna use some duct tape and uh, polyfill or something to build it up. About this much should do. Just gonna grab my duct tape. Just gonna shape it as well as I can. I genuinely don't know how well this is gonna turn out. Yeah, the nose is looking a little bit more bear-shaped. He also has kind of like bigger cheeks, so I'm gonna build up the sides of his face a little bit more as well. So now I'm gonna go in and meticulously cover this head in fur. I'm gonna try and do a little bit better of a job with the head than the body. I'm gonna use a hot glue gun to glue the felt on. Hopefully that uh, helps it look a little better, you know? Carefully. Stick it on, now the other side. Aha, uh -huh, I have done it. Now I have to cut the bottom of the jaw so that this fabric's a little bit shorter. Okay, bottom of the jaw is complete. Whew, okay, now that the jaw is done, now I just have to do the entire rest of the head. Uh, that doesn't look like a <laughs> Nightmare. This guy's being really annoying. Uh, intro number three! What's the problem, dog? We need to go get that Beetlejuice. Oh, let's get him, bro. And suddenly, surprise, surprise! I saw some masks! They were monster masks! But they were more than masks! They were singing masks! They were singing masks! I was just singing in the craft corner late that night! I have to get back to finishing this animatronic, so uh, here you are. Uh, All right, oh, okay. I'm going on my lunch. <sighs> Come on, Toby, we got some words. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
Let's do this. Okay, I did his face and, you know, I had some creases here, but it doesn't really look too bad. He's looking pretty good so far. Next, I'm gonna do his ears really quick. Just gotta outline where I wanna put his nose. Doesn't look right. <laughs> Okay, I think that'll do. Now I gotta do his actual little black nose. And I think for that, I'm gonna use this ball pit ball and just like cut it down a little bit. Boom. I'm gonna paint this guy black. No colors anymore, I want to paint that black. Now we're just gonna go in and glue this guy on. Okay, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Wow. I did also notice that Freddy has kind of like black eyeshadow around his eyes. So I'm gonna go in and do that really quick. I think just using a little Sharpie should honestly do the trick. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh yes, that is much better. And I could technically just draw on his eyebrows, but I think I'm gonna take the original fur that was on this guy and cut it into the shape of eyebrows. But I'm also probably gonna have to trim it a little bit. Boop. Then we're just gonna cut them into the shape of eyebrows. I just have to remember that they're sisters, not twins. Before I put on his head, I'm gonna add this one patch of fur on his chest. Okay, we're in the home stretch, guys. Now I just gotta add his head and a couple little things. Oh yeah, this is creepy. Yeah, that's pretty spooky. Give Freddy a little bow tie. Maybe I should just hot glue it on. So he has his little bow tie. Now we just gotta give him a hat. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> wow! Look at that! This actually ended up turning out kind of spectacular, not gonna lie. I mean, don't look at it from the back at all. Uh, I only really had three days to make this, so I did what I, I could with what I had, you know? If I had more time, I'm sure I could make him look even better, but all things considered, this turned out fantastic. Are you guys ready to see how he looks when he's activated? Uh, let's check it out. Oh... Wow! I'm actually really happy with this. Look at that. I can't believe I made a real life Freddy Fazbear animatronic. If you liked it, make sure to give a big ol' thumbs up and listen to this part right down there. Tell me what animatronics you guys think I should make next, and I might just do it in the next video. Hey, hey Robbie, you doing okay? Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my hallway. And today we're gonna be trying some spooky DIY TikTok and five minute craft Halloween decor. Let's check out the first one. Yes, it's time to hollow out a little pumpkin. Wow, that is interesting. So we're gonna grab our orange knife to cut our orange pumpkin. Ooh, there we go. Just gonna go in and hollow them out. Oh yes, nice and hollowed out. Ooh, I'm gonna save these seeds, maybe make a little snack later. Now let's make the face. They just kinda did like a little mouth, like a little round pukey mouth like this. And then they did like eyes. They just, it looks like they just drew the eyes on with a Sharpie, which is fine, cause that's what I got. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I just go in and cut out his mouth. Okay. Oh, yes. Get that out of there. He's like, put his little head back on. Okay, now to make the mixture for the pumpkin. I'm gonna grab two different cups. And in one cup, I'm gonna pour just a little bit of vinegar. And in the other cup, we're gonna put some baking soda. In our vinegar cup, I'm gonna go ahead and put some green food coloring, as well as some dish soap. Okay, now we take our vinegar mixture and just pour it right in. You ready? Three, two. Look at him go! He's really puking up a storm, isn't he? Not gonna lie, this looks pretty cool. Poor guy. Well guys, I guess it's the perfect time to recreate the thumbnail! <laughs> I'm 
sorry you guys can't even see this really. It's just so clear. I gotta tell you, it doesn't look fantastic, but it'll do, you know? Then we're gonna grab our googly eyes. I think for this one, I'm gonna go with some yellow maybe. Booty boop. A little yellow googly eye action. Boom. Okay, now I just wait for this hot glue to cool down. One eternity later. Okay, the hot glue has solidified. Oh, wow, that came off so easy. And here is our ghost. Ooh. Little, little wacky, wavy, wibbly, wobbly eyes. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but uh, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Okay, so this one's pretty simple. I just need a trash bag. And we fold it into a corner like this, into a little triangle, boy. And then we cut the triangle. So it folds like that, and you fold it again. And then I guess they, they cut part of it. I think they just cut long strips like this. Might have messed up. Oh my God, okay. I'm just gonna unfold it and see what it looks like. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, sure, that kind of looks like spider webs. And I'm gonna have to say that it's probably good enough. So I'm gonna have to say that this one works, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this now. <laughs> oh no, <it's> spider web! <laughs> Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need some cardboard, a roll of tape, some zip ties, a hole puncher, a sharpie, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we grab our cardboard and our tape, draw a couple circles, then we cut the circles out, and then we grab our hole puncher and do four legs on one side and four legs on the other. Now we grab our zip ties and start zip tying them on, I guess. And this is how it looks so far. I just gotta cut off the legs a little bit. Yeah, that looks kind of even. Yeah, I don't I don't think so, actually. It's okay. I think they're supposed to be kind of out a little bit. So we're like out like that. So here we go. Here's our spider thing. I like how it bounces. Okay, then we're gonna get a boba straw and then apparently I can just blow on it and it'll go forward, you ready? Okay, that's not working. Can these little kids just blow harder than I can? I flatten the legs a little more. Maybe that'll do it. Okay, one thing I noticed is they did use a smaller straw where I was using a boba straw. So maybe that's the difference. Those kids have lungs of steel, okay? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that whatever she did, that was trickery, and this actually doesn't work. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need some candles, a tray that I can put the candles in, and some hot water. Okay, so we just put them in like so, and then we put the hot water in. I'm hoping that it being boiling isn't bad. Um, please don't melt together. Oh my gosh, oh boy, they're melting together. Get away from each other, get away. Maybe boiling water wasn't the move. This feels so weird. Now I'm just gonna get some parchment paper and grab one of our candles. Now theoretically, the candle, oh my gosh, this is so hot. This is like burning. You can slowly twist them, I guess. Ooh, it's actually bending. My goal is to make a, a loop-de-loop. Oh my God, I just put my fingers in the other one to grab another candle, to work on another candle. It's very hot still. I'm gonna put this back into the hot water and then work on our next one. This one, I think I'm gonna bend it here. And I'm gonna make it do a little a little side bend, yeah? Just making this one into kind of like an S, I guess. And then it looked like they kind of smoothed theirs out a little bit. Wow, that turned out pretty good. I like that. It's like a little snake. I'm gonna work on this one a little bit. I'll do like zigzags. Some crazy zigzag guys. Ooh, that's fun. My hands are so covered in wax. Get off! Wow, okay, that turned out pretty good. So just to review, this is what we started out with. I never really made it to a full loopy loop around. I'm gonna try to make this one a full loop around. Oh, I 
That's actually bending in half. Yes. We got a full loop de loop and it didn't break. Now I'm just going to go ahead and let these cool down a little bit and then uh, we'll try them out, I guess. One hour later. And this is how they ended up turning out. Not bad. We got some windy ones. These ended up looking very similar. I meant for them to look different. Uh, so we'll just ignore that one. And then we got the full spinny one. Uh, that one turned out pretty cool. We got a full swirl. Now we're gonna take our Sharpie and we just draw little faces on them. I think they used a paintbrush so it looks a little better, but you know what? It's fine. I think uh, this is pretty cute. Same thing with this guy, a little happy face, yeah. Look how happy he is. He's just swirling around, a little ghost candle boy. Okay, now I don't really have like a candle holder, but I do have this bottle that I bought from the dollar store and they fit in fine. They fit in perfect. He's my new friend, you see? He's a little ghost guy. We have another one here. Boom. Now I just gotta do is light it. Woo! There we go. And look at him. He's just living life. He's a little candle boy. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works and it brings my life full of joy. Look at that. Look at this guy. <laughs> On to the next craft. So this one's pretty easy, guys. All we need is some tiki torches and a skull. So we just have to go and get a Sharpie. Then we just need to mark down where we need to cut on the skull. That way we can just fit the tiki torch right in there. Oh yeah, so that looks pretty good. Actually, it looks kind of off. That's definitely off center a little bit. <laughs> Ah yes, now time to cut this skull open. I was originally gonna try and use this carpet cutter, but I feel like it would be a little dangerous because my other plan was to use this Dremel. Oh, don't need that anymore. Looking good. Now we're gonna see if it fits inside the hole. Oh, it's a little tight, but I think we can make it squeeze in there. Aha, it works. Look at that. We have a skull tiki torch now. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this candle inside of it. Hey Google. Turn off everything. It's a little bit dim, but you know what? It kinda, it works, you know? I probably wanna put um, a little bit brighter of a tea light, but I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I don't even know if you can see me right now, it's kinda dark. Anyway, on to the next craft. Okay, uh, yeah, just gotta get rid of his dumb little string really quick. Just gonna grab a little screwdriver and take out the screws in the back of his head. We all have screws in the back of our head. And honestly, there's a good chunk of them with a, a few of them loose, and that's okay. Boop, boop, boop. Carefully remove his string. Boop. Place the back of his skull and just put it back on like nothing ever happened. There you go, buckaroo, you didn't see anything. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by boiling our water. So now we're just gonna put our candle inside of the hot water. And eventually our candle will melt. I should have probably taken the top off. Ah yes, it's now a perfect golden brown brew. I forgot what kind of candle this is, but it smells absolutely fantastic. Now we reinsert our new stringless skeleton dude, and we're gonna insert another string right here. I'm just gonna have our skeleton man hold it in between his teeth. Thank you for holding that, you're doing a great job. Now it's time to carefully pour our candle wax into the skull mug. Oh boy, I hope I don't mess this up. I'm gonna wrap it in a paper towel, that way I don't burn myself. Now I need to carefully pour it into his little tub. Oh! It's working! Yes! Oh, that's perfect! Now I just have to wait for this to solidify and then we'll have ourselves a brand new skull candle. One hour later. Okay guys, it's been like an hour and the wax is still very hot. So I think what I'm gonna do is put him on this rotating platform. This will probably help it cool off a little faster. And here he is, our little guy in his little skull hot tub. This turned out really cool, not gonna lie. I kind of want my own skull hot tub now. Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys think I should make um, a real life-size hot tub that looks like this, and I might just do it. Anyway, it's time for us to light his little candle. He's just singing a little happy birthday song. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Now he has to try and blow it out. 
Well, unfortunately, he has no lungs, so he can't do it. But other than that, I'm gonna have to say that this absolutely works. So the first thing we're gonna need is a baby head. Look at him. Oh wow, he's been through a lot. Then we're gonna need some cheesecloth, and I'm gonna put some parchment paper down. That way I don't mess up my desk. Put down our baby head, and I guess we just start forming the cheesecloth to the baby head. Now I'm gonna grab some spray adhesive. They said starch, but I'm sure this will be fine. Worst case scenario, you know, it just sticks to the baby head forever, and you know, I never get this baby head back. I'm gonna use a pencil to kind of push it down because I don't want to get the stuff on my hands. You can't really even tell that this looks like a baby head anymore. Well, I guess I just have to wait for this to dry now, and then uh, I take the baby head out. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I let this dry for a little bit. We're gonna see if we can take this apart without losing the shape of the baby head. Now I'm gonna carefully take him off. I don't think this is gonna work very well. Yeah, I guess you could actually see the baby head outline, so that's cool. Now I'm gonna need a frame, uh, so I grab this this one with this photo of me and the intern. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Uh, but you know what I do need? I need a framed baby head! Oh yes, this looks fantastic. And now I have a framed baby head. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right on my desk, right there. It looks good, this way it really haunts me and makes sure that I work. You know, it's always staring at me. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna have to say that it absolutely works. I had my doubts at first, but you know, I shouldn't have doubted five minute crafts. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need is a trash can. Trash can acquired. And then the next thing I'm gonna need is a couple of volunteers. Oh, 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 yeah. oh yes, you two boys should do perfectly. Come with me. Oh yes, now let's do a little bit of a swap a -roo. Wow, they are all swapped over. Basically, I put the clothes from this mannequin onto the skeleton and uh... Boy, is that a vibe or what? Okay, so we got this guy all settled. Now we have to work on the trash can and the whole fountain aspect thing. Okay, now I'm gonna take some paint and we're just gonna paint on some slime marks. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna slime it up real good. Before I get too far with this, I also wanna write toxic on the middle. I'm gonna make a stencil and the way I'm gonna do that is I just found this photo online of toxic waste and then I put a piece of paper over my computer screen and then I just go in and outline the toxic waste. I might turn off my light so it's a little easier to see. There we go. Oh, you can definitely see that now. Can I just go in and trace everything? Oh yes, there we go. Now I'm gonna go in and cut everything out. Now we grab our barrel, slap on our stencil, go ahead and tape it on, and then we just spray paint this bad boy. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. So now that we're done with the toxic sign, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get back to painting the green slime. There we go. And this is a mission success, I would say. Now, I just gotta focus. I'm putting the pump in the back. So I basically need to just cut a hole that will fit the extension cord and the tube. Oh yes, I think something like that should do it. Just a tiny little hole that I can fit both of them through. Go ahead and throw in our pump. Then we're gonna guide it through the hole. Boopity boop. And that is done. Now we're gonna take this guy and fix him to the trash can. Now I just have to guide the tube up through the skeleton. Okay, now we're gonna make the mixture that he's gonna be throwing up. So I got some water here. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of food dye. And then I'm gonna grab a highlighter, just like the guy said. Boopity boop. It just pops right off. And I'm just gonna, oh God. Yeah, just squeeze the highlighter. It's like one of those yellow peppers that you get it in and out, you know what I'm talking about? Then we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. I also bought a little black light that we're gonna put in the barrel uh, that will light up this mixture that we just made. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it. Oh, 
I'm also gonna zip tie a little bag on top of it. That way it doesn't get wet. Okay, now we're gonna add our fluid. It really looks like this guy's going through a pretty hard time. So let me just uh, fix him up a little bit really quick. Plug in our black light. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Now let's hope our pump works, because if it doesn't, um, I'm gonna have to go get another pump. Oh, oh boy, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It works a little too well. <laughs> This uh, was not pointed down, so it, um, oh my god, that got everywhere. Okay, I'll try this again. Oh, you don't look so good, Robbie. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not bad. Just gonna have me puking outside of my house. Guys, this turned out absolutely fantastic, and uh, I'm gonna have to say that it absolutely works. Hey, hey Robbie, you doing okay? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give a big ol' thumbs up. Let's this fight right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys wanna watch me do even more fun, spooky DIY Halloween crafts and stuff, uh, I have an entire playlist that you can watch right here. Okay guys, love you so much, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending, okay, bye! Ah!